Hello and a very good evening. Welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Did you, could you guys hear music then? Because we couldn't hear it in the studio. Oh, you couldn't? Oh, so it was like a dry start. That's why I did it a little bit more serious. Because normally... I know, because normally now. it's like creative, no, creative. it's like the like music, so I bounce into the show, but that was like, a, it was almost like, hello, and here is the it news. It was like the news. It was yeah. like the news. Yeah, it was. But listen, we will, we will we'll bring the bounce, we will bring the fun uh, over the course of the next three hours. Uh, it's Creative Cravings, where we are going to be uh, bringing you loads of great projects, kind of taking things back to basics just a little bit. You know, for those new crafters, there'll be lots of great ideas for you. And this is how the show's going to work. So uh, Jan will be back in an hour and a half time, uh, where we'll be concentrating lots on... Uh, silhouette dies, uh, silhouette stencils and stamps, uh, and also I think we're going to be uh, refocusing back on those templates that we launched a little bit earlier on too, because you guys love those. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you didn't get to see them, we will um, focus on those from around about half past seven, two thirty Eastern, eleven thirty Pacific. But we're kicking off uh, the first hour and a half uh, with uh, Dawn Bibby Creations. You guys have absolutely loved uh, the brand new goodies that Sharon has brought to us today uh, here at Crafters TV. Uh, lots of cardstock, which you've obliterated the stock of. Uh, some amazing <laughs> stencils, which you guys have absolutely loved. Um, and some amazing collections when it comes to stamps and dies as well. I just want to quickly update you on where we are as far as stock is concerned with the, um, the vintage toys. Uh, literally one of my favourite collections and actually uh, bumped into our Liam in the uh, Corridors in Between shows and he was saying exactly the same. He said, you know what? The vintage toy collection, one of my favourite collections I've seen this year. It's phenomenal. Uh, six piece collection. So this is all of your dies. 137 dies in total uh, for an amazing price. Just $57.60 or $76.80. Over 40% <coughs> of the stock has gone and this really is about all of those vintage toys. Look here, you've got your alphabet We've got the vintage toys for the boys and the girls. So you can see on the boys here, it's things like the robots, the rockets. Uh, you've got the cars in there as well. Uh, you've mm -hmm. got the, uh, the beautiful dolls for the girls, the little pram. It's all there. You've also got uh, an edgeable here as well, which is your building blocks, which you can use in conjunction with your um, alphabet. You've got your bear there as well, who is literally my favorite die of the year. Um, he comes within this set. No, he is, because you can dress him up in a little waistcoat and a tie and, and glasses and all sorts. Mr. Ben, as everyone's been naming him. And then you've also got um, a rocking horse as well. So all of those beautiful vintage toys, which will work for the uh, kids and grandkids cards right now, but actually uh, all the adults are going to love getting cards uh, with those characters on. 57.60 or 76.80. You've also got, over 40% gone, you've also got the stamp collection. Now, these work in conjunction with the dies. They work without the dies as well. So if you're a stamper, you can jump in and grab these. If you love your dies, you can grab the dies. If you love them all, you can buy both collections you can also buy individually and this is the problem you've got this evening because 50% indeed over 50% of the stock has gone of the stamp bundle the reason for that is a lot of you are buying the teddy bear individually and you know what happens here when individuals go bundles sell out so if you want to get your hands on the stamp <laughs> collection uh, you need to go swiftly because it's that cheeky little bear uh, that will sell that set out 31 pounds 97 or 42 dollars 62 is the deal on that and uh, before i go on to talk about the uh, botanical um range which we've got as well can i just welcome back sharon because i've been chatting <laughs> along for about five minutes i've not even said hello Hi. how are you Nicholas? hello i'm good thank you oh, yes, it's been a brilliant good. day hasn't it it has it's been really fun well it's been two brilliant two days oh yes yeah because we did yesterday as well didn't we so yeah. yeah it's been a great two days yeah. and you can't be surprised as, as to how popular all of the um all of the items it's brilliant been. it's really good yeah because we, we love to hear feedback on what people love and um it's great that people are loving the toys yeah yeah, um, so and the staff here are loving the toys as well. Yeah, you've had some <laughs> great feedback, not just from me, but um, like I say, from Liam, who we uh, spoke to a little bit earlier yeah. on. Also, you guys are absolutely loving the botanical collection um, and just launched uh, in the last show, the end of the last show, was the botanical cut into colour paper pack. Now, as I flick through this, let's chat to you, um, Sharon, about yeah. these cut into colours, because um, whilst you will get some backgrounds in here, you, you also get um, images 
like these, don't you? Yes. So these all correspond with the dies that um, we have on the show. Um, they are packed with elements there. So out of that sheet alone, then you're going to get three cuts of the main image, and then your smaller dies. You can then decoupage those up to make some really, really stunning cards. Um, so Dawn absolutely packs these these pages for you. Um, you're getting different colorways as well. There's the magnolia there, again, three there. So you see there, there's two different, slightly different colorways that you were showing on there. Um, so these, if you're getting any of the matting and layering dies on the show, these will fit perfectly in there for a really stunning card. Yeah. So they're, they're just beautiful. And we love flowers, don't we? We love flowers. Absolutely. And I'm just thinking round. as well, like if, 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 for example, I mean, you probably are going to get the dyes, but you could probably cut into these as well, couldn't you? You could. You, have you could. Absolutely. You could just buy this and fussy cut them. Absolutely. Yeah. Sit in front of the TV. Um, you're also going to get to some background papers on here, Ben, as well. And the little embellishment sets too. So I think um, I can just see one of the vintage background papers coming up. They're the embellishments. Yep. Um, so they correspond with the little dies um, that we used earlier as well with the different leaves. Uh, there's your wisteria again. So then you've got your, some backing papers as well that correspond with these. So a real vintage feel for these. Um, loads of people have said this is their most favourite collection that Dawn has ever brought out with wow. these flowers. Um, and as soon as I saw it, it, it reminded me of like... You know, when we were younger, we had encyclopedias of flowers and that yeah. kind of thing. It reminded me of that. I know what you mean. Yeah. Your, yeah. your old old fashioned encyclopedias. Yeah, absolutely. There's tons in here as well, isn't there? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So you're getting 24 sheets, eight different designs, three of each. So you're going to make stacks of cards out of those. Yeah. Um, lovely quality as well. Uh, for 1039 or 1386, I would encourage you that if you, I mean, obviously you can get this as an individual, as you said, fussy cut the images out. Um, but if you're going for the die set, I would encourage you to get this as well, because it just kind of expands your creativity just a little bit. Um, and really nice quality, as I said. I always want to say it's 240, but I want to say, yeah, it's 260. Uh, yeah. 260 GSM, 12 unique designs, three sheets of each design. And as we said, these play very nicely indeed with the, um, the botanical dyes. And again, um, we'll get you to chat around these as I show them, um, Sharon, because uh, a lovely, lovely selection of dyes. We've got the, um, the marigold here, um, first of all. And as we chatted about earlier, like this is a set that you're going to use now. You oh. use it later yeah. in the year you exactly it year. it's never going to okay. go out of fashion is it no you know you're never going to get tired of using these um and they're big images they're really big images these ones um so there's your marigold and again you can layer all those different elements up you can either use some of the cardstock we've got on the show today um you can die cut it in the white cardstock we've got the stamping card and then ink on it or you can use the cut into color that you've previously seen so really really versatile christmas rose this is your Christmas rose not just for Christmas no. I don't think because um, if you coloured that in yellow I think that would pass as a daffodil you know absolutely right yeah yeah so you could colour that with whatever colour you wish and then we're going on to the wisteria that was your favourite Ben because yeah, you knew this. what that was called yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only one thank you um, but that's very pretty done in purples and uh, greens and we're going to use that in the first demo actually the wisteria uh, magnolia that's really pretty and when you see this cut in the cut into color it looks so realistic as well i think this one really really stunning um, and then lastly is your little embellishment set which is super cute because you've included not only the foliage and sort of other um sort of woodland things like your mushrooms but you've, you've included some creatures as well here, yeah you? and this will go through the seasons because you've got um leaves there for autumn you've even got pine cones your mushrooms and holly leaves as well there's that lovely sprig of holly at the top there and then you've got some flowers you've got your butterflies and your bees too Super, super cute. Uh, it is 58 dies in total. £54.36 is your platinum price. $72.48. As I mentioned earlier on, and the majority of you will know this by now, uh, but if you are brand new to us, maybe you're here because of uh, Dawn Baby Creations, maybe you're here because of Sharon. Um, <laughs> you, you can join our club. It's uh, free to join. You can get 20% off by going to our website, .com.co.uk or .eu, that is Crackers Companion. Uh, hit the little button, which you'll see at the top, Club Inspire. Join the club, it's free to do. You need your email address, your name, uh, and a password. You join up, you get 20% off your first order today. So that price is yours on your first order. You'll get uh, 250 points to get you into the club, which means you're saving 5% on every order after that. Every pound you spend, you get a point. And the more points you get, 
the more money you save. <laughs> uh, the die set, again, these are brilliant because you're going to be able to use these in conjunction with your dies, of course. But with or without, these are perfect, aren't they? On the standalone, these stamps are stunning. Yeah. Um, and if you watch the previous show we did at three o'clock, um, yeah. I used lots of these to then make a background because you've got that gorgeous script on the bottom of that stamp set and you'll see some other textures as we go through. But what I like about these is you've got your main image, you've got your texture to do your backgrounds, and you've got some sentiments and sayings there too. Mm -hmm. So you've got flora and fauna, botanical on that one, again with your little elements. This one's um, lovely, again, like you were talking about the different um, textures. That yeah, you that could be snow as well yeah. for that one. You could em embossed in like a silver or gold or white embossing powder. That would look lovely as snow around the flower there. I like the fact as well that you've got like um, some of these, you've got like the, the names of the flowers and the Latin yep. names as well. Yep. Um, which and the really lovely cool. quotes and, you know, and with love, dream big, you've yeah. got some positive things in there as well. This was the one we used in the three o'clock show. Uh, mm -hmm. So again, you can see at the bottom, those textured elements are really, really useful. And then lastly. Uh, and that's gorgeous with that script um, across the bottom as well. Yeah. Love it. Um, there are 62 uh, stamps there in total. Big size stamps as well, you know, if you love to do your colouring, these are absolutely perfect. And some really, really beautiful, beautiful uh, sentiments where flowers bloom, so does hope. Uh, Lady Bird Johnson. And there was a lovely quote from, um, oh, John Lennon. Uh, love is the flower you've got to let grow. Lovely. There was a mm -hmm. lovely quote from Audrey Hepburn. There was an Audrey well. Hepburn. Uh, that's on the marigold. Marigold. To plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. That's there at the top go. of that um, stamp set. Really They're really nicely. beautiful. Um, and as you said, that's the set. If you decide you want to go for one individually, you can. If you want to buy the one which matches up with the die, you can. However, the more people that buy individually makes the bundles sell out. That's why the uh, stamp bundle for the vintage toys will disappear. A few quick hellos, then we'll get on to some demos because the, um, the hellos are coming through. Uh, Superstar Susie on the socials is with us tonight. Eileen Hernandez says hello. Good afternoon, everyone from Puerto Rico. Uh, Robbie's in from Alabama. Uh, <laughs> Noemi is in from Florida. Jane Wilson says hi, Ben, and the CC gang from a drafty summer Set. Not cold oh. in Somerset, is it? It's always warm in Somerset. Uh, Stacy is with us from Central New York. Mary Reno is in from Maine. Terry H from Kansas City. Nee Connie says hello. Uh, CTV team and Team Social. Hello, Ben and Sharon. Loving these toy stamp collections already. Hello, lovely crafters. Helen's in. Linda Ryan is in. Pammy is in. Kim Nesbitt Edwardson is in. And Jeffrey Langley says good evening from New Hampshire. Ben and Sharon uh, and all the superstar CTV crew. Shall we de um, get demoing? Shall we? Yes. Shall we? Okay, so we're going to do the wisteria first. Um, now, so I'm just going to go through the options with the wisteria because obviously we've got the stamp, but when it comes to using the dies, we do have the cut into colour that you were just showing then. So this is how the wisteria looks with your main die. And then with your other elements, you can then decoupage these up to then create, so obviously with your 3D foam, you just layer those up and then that will create a stunning piece of decoupage, nice in your frames and things. Mm -hmm. But we're not gonna do that. Oh, we're not. No, we're not. Oh. <laughs> that was just giving you an option. So <laughs> what I've done, because I know the, car the pearl cardstock has been really popular yes, today, it has. hasn't it? So this <clears throat> green is taken from the blue and green option. Mm -hmm. um, so I've cut out the whole of the wisteria in the green. And then I have cut the smaller elements, the decoupage elements, in the purple, one of the purples from the purple and pink pack. Okay. So then we are going to just paper piece this. I forgot to check if my glue was working. Yes, it was. And I found the lid that I'd thrown across the studio. Oops. <laughs> I was like, where's that gone? You're right at home here already, aren't you? <laughs> Making a bit of a mess. Making That's a bit of a mess, studio. yeah. In two days. Had my feet up in the green room yeah. when you came in earlier. Well, I came in earlier, I was feet up on the sofa, cuddling the, um, I don't know what sort of pillow that is in there. I don't know, but it's very comfortable. Yeah, John the... told me just to have a little snooze oh, no, in there. Yeah, I want to now. If you want to have a snooze in the green room, if you want to do that, absolutely you can. There's a pillow in there that looks like one of those sort of... It's it, very fluffy. It looks like... It, oh, there was a... Fl yeah, the, the, um, it's like a like a it's relaxation like, pillow, it's isn't it? Like yeah. cuddle pillow. Yeah. Just to another person. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, having the best of times. <laughs> I was. There's a very nice teapot in the green room as well. I think that's Craig's. Mm. Is it? With the mm. bee on it? 
Yeah, I think oh, that's See, yeah. me and Erin had our eye on that, probably. Yeah. <laughs> so then we have just changed the look of that just by using our pearl cardstock. Now, something we can also do with our pearl cardstock, because it is 300 GSM, oh, it matches my nails. It does. <laughs> just saying. Love your nails. <laughs> my Jubilee nails. Um, you can use this for your card base as well because it is construction weight. So I've taken again one of the purples from the purple and pink card pack. And then we had the non shed glitter oh, yeah. on the show yesterday. That's will that still be on the website, on the website there? I think it will be. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Which and then is that from? Can you um, I would say that's from the jewel tones, the jewel tones I think. Yeah. And then again, I've layered up now with my purple, so I'm keeping all tone on tone. And then on this particular piece that we think was in this, the pastels, was it? Uh, or did we not find it in the pastels? No. Um, but you can see there, I've embossed with one of the stencils. So I took this stencil here which I love. I absolutely love this. You've got the butterfly there, you've got the wisteria, you've got the magnolia, you've got the um, Christmas rose there. So everything about the collection in, is encompassed in this stencil, yeah. I think, for me. So um, this is this particular stencil I have used to emboss on the cardstock. The um, glitter cardstock is available for you. It was a ridiculous price, 90 sheets for not very much. No, it was, it was really pounds, good say. value, wasn't it? It was a really, really Didn't good Didn't we work price. it out to like... 21p a sheet. 21p a sheet. Look I knew, that. I knew... Oh, where is that? How did you remember that? I have no idea. <laughs> 21p a sheet. We had it in well different done. colours as well, didn't we? Yeah. We do. Celebrate. Because if you were buying that cardstock individually on the high street, you'd be mm. paying minimum like 70p, 75p a sheet, I would say, for individual. So we're layering this up now. So we're going for an A5 card size this time. So that's going to go on to here. Mm -hmm. And we're, go we're going in the Jubilee theme again, aren't we? we? Are Purple and Jubilee. platinum, aren't we? So just before I stick this on, I'm just going to snip that there so that it will fit up against uh, my okay. card there, which I actually meant to do before I stuck it down. So. <laughs> it looks a little bit grapey now as well. Oh, I can see. Yeah, I, mean? I can see that. It's a grapevine. Yes, down. a grapevine. Grape, yes, that, yeah. that's what I mean. It's a grapevine. We, we just need need a little uh, glass of glass of wine. <laughs> Vino to Vino. go with it. <laughs> This is the lady who drinks tea out of a teapot. <laughs> I will be next week, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I will be next week. I, I'm following you now on Instagram. So I know. I'll, I'll take a pictures. photo and I'll tag you in so yes, you can see it. Thank you. Um, so then this is our next element down, which I have put the 3D foam on. Again, we had this on the show yesterday, didn't we? 3D foam. So will people be able to find that on the website still? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think all the stuff that didn't sell out... Didn't sell out, did it? No. Um, ...will be there. All you need to do is just search the words Dawn Bibby and everything will pop up. Fabulous. It's still available, so yeah, absolutely do it. There were some lovely collections yesterday. If you didn't join us, we had the Jubilee collection. We did we? have the Jubilee. The Regency collection, which was um, all bridgerton -y, down to Nabby. See, you were all about the Corgi yesterday, and now you're all about the teddy bear today. Yeah, what does that say about me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> but if, if, you, but if you love dogs, you love Corgi particularly, make sure you check out that dice set from yesterday. He, he was a, a cheeky, cheeky chappy, that Corgi, yeah, wasn't he? Was, he? he was. But he was... He was Book journaling. Oh, yes. Absolutely. So with our daisy, this is taken from the embellishments die set. So I've cut it out in green. And then I've cut it out in the pearl and then in the purple. So I've just snipped it off, laid it up each time to then paper piece on here and create my little daisies. So my daisy is going to go on the bottom here. I love how your viewers are so interactive, aren't they? And you know, they're, they're everywhere. Oh, they they're are around the world. They're everywhere. Yeah, yeah. fabulous. Let us know where you're watching from today, actually. Yeah, um, So you can kind of um, demonstrate to Sharon where you are. Like, you know, um, obviously we've got lots of our US viewers, lots of people watching in the UK. I think we have, we have a lady who watches from Trinidad. Wow. Uh, I'm sure, yeah, Guam. 
Australia, Australia, we have Sarah, yeah. Netherlands, we have uh, Theo's in the Netherlands. Fabulous. Um, but yeah, anywhere else you're watching today, stick your hand up. Yeah, in let us know, out. let us know. So we've just stuck there. So I use the green cardstock again, the purple and the pearl to create my daisies. So it's all tone on tone. Mm -hmm. And then again, I have used the purple from this layer to cut out our flutter rays. I love butterflies. Uh, these botanicals are beautiful, says Kim. I love Dawn's collections. And Gilmore's on again. Oh, uh, yes, I am, yeah. Uh, these shades of purple on this card are so luxurious, um, says Gilmore. They Gilmore, are. Have they you are. purchased anything, Gilmore, today? I would like to know. I know you're oohing <laughs> and ahhing a lot in the, uh, in the wings. Let us know if you've, uh, if you've dove in and grabbed something. Yeah, definitely. And then we have another <coughs> flutter by just here. So with this, I just wanted to show you that the dyes look equally as stunning using the pearl cardstock as they do with the cut into colour. So you've got lots of options. And, um, you know, what Dawn brings us is really versatile as well. Yeah. So you can use them in different ways. So there we have our wisteria card I using the stents that. in the background and the thing with dawn's dyes if you're new to dawn's products when you die cut you don't then have to put them back through the um die cutting machine to get this embossed look the dyes do this for you so you can see on the butterfly there just with the pearl and then using the stencil has then embossed as well just to give us a really luxurious look with um, those Absolutely beautiful is that the uh, botanical dye collection. Um, Evelyn's joined us from beautiful Colorado. Um, Gilmore says Michigan, US, checking in oh. on uh, Sharon and Ben. I know we've got lots of US viewers uh, tuning in this evening. Lots of you. Just let us know where you are generally, so we can get a, you know get a feel for it. Um, let us know where you're all watching from. Uh, the more tropical, the better. Now. Um, these lace frames that we're about to show you have been really, really popular. 30% um, of the uh, rectangle has disappeared. So six dies in total, such usable, usable dies are these to create your card blanks, to create your, um, all of your mats and layers. Um, and again here, uh, in shapes that you're gonna use day in, day out. But the difference with these, of course, is that you've got that beautiful uh, lace frame as well, which is gonna lend itself to so many um, different collections. You know, you're just gonna be using these day in, day out. It's gonna be the kind of die set that you're gonna keep on your craft table um, and, and use for all sorts of projects. 30% of the stock has gone here, as we said. 13 pounds 59 is the platinum price, $19.71. The square is uh, over half the stock gone now. Again, really, really useful shapes for you, everyday shapes that you'll be wanting to uh, uh, get into your projects. Again, A5 in size, six different dies in total. That's how they're gonna look for you as well if you uh, mat and layer all these up uh, to create that depth and dimension. And that is a card right there, isn't it, really? You think about matting and layering these, popping a little sentiment um, on the top, a really, really stunning design that you've got from one set of dies. 13 pounds 59, 19.71, 50% um, of the stock has gone there. Mida Mida on the wall, who is the fairest die set of them all? This is the uh, beautiful oval lace frame set, seven piece frame. And again, I know it seems silly to say, but it looks as, as gorgeous sort of uh, vertically as it does horizontally. Those frames you yeah. could use um, vice versa. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and again, really, really useful shapes for you too. So the ovals in the uh, A5 size, six dies in total there. Again, that price we keep seeing, unbelievable. Seeing is believing tonight, £13.59 platinum, $19.71. And then these circles, again, really, really useful. We're talking again over 40% of the stock gone here, six dies in total for £13.59 or uh, $19.71. Right, so we're going to have a look at the cardstock that um, Sharon's brought for us as well. Um, lots of you saying hello. We'll say a few more hellos in just a few moments' time. Uh, greens and blue I've got first. So, uh, again, as I perhaps just flick through these, Sharon, let's get your take on the, uh, 
the card stock. So it's 50 sheets, lovely weight, first of all, isn't it? Oh, it is. Again, it's 300 GSM. So this was the card stock that I just used to create the base of the purple card. Um, so it is that weight that you can do that and create your card blanks. Die cuts beautifully. You've seen with the dies from Dawn with the debossing works beautifully as well. And I think, you know, especially for this pack is really mm. useful for the greens for your leaves, for your foliage, for your, even for your Christmas trees, yeah, you know, you have yeah. that lovely emerald green. That's gorgeous. Yeah, That's like a greeny gold. Yeah. Um, so I love that for your vintage tones as well. Um, and blue is really useful if you're doing sky scenes or just if you like blue. <laughs> uh, well, absolutely. Uh, and again, uh, you're getting uh, 10 colours, five yep. sheets of each, uh, 300 GSM. So again, great uh, weight for construction. Uh, well over half the stock of your greens and blues has gone. £13. Or That's $19. amazing. <laughs> Next up, purple and pink. And do you know what, as well, I, I've said this to you already today, uh, probably many times, um, the different hues of, of the colours yes. you've got here, really yeah. interesting. Yeah, and they, so they're all hand-picked by Dawn. Um, you know, she loves her pinks and purples as well, um, but just mirroring that up with the greens for making your flowers and things. Um, but you can you could pick this this pack of cardstock up and know that they will coordinate together to we're loving that one aren't we yes that's that chocolate box color <laughs> um but you can just pick this up and you'll be able to find all the shades will coordinate together as well that's a lovely that's color lovely. as well that that's almost oh, looking at on the screen almost matches the door actually from here uh, the yeah. door color yeah yeah it does yeah. Um, you've got some really, really wonderful shades. Yeah. And, and, and as I can say, that pearl finish that they've that's, got to that's these. That's lovely. That's like a candy floss pink. Yeah. Love that one. You almost see uh, more colours coming through as you sort of Absolutely. wiggle the Absolutely, yeah. Um, and you yes, can, sorry. as you say, construction weight, so you can make um, gift bags and boxes and things from this too. Yeah, just to, yes, sorry, um, producer Erin's got confused. So that one there, um, Sharon says candy floss. Yeah. You guys call it what? Cotton candy? Uh, Stuff you get in the fairground, in the bag, or on a stick, candy floss. So it's cotton candy. Cotton candy. Right, yeah. okay. We're learning today. Yeah. <laughs> I, so I, I find it so fascinating that yeah. we speak the same language, yet we say many things so differently. It's like this <laughs> I'm wearing tonight. What would you call this? Waistcoat. Vest. A vest? That's what the Americans That's what you it. put on underneath your jumper to keep warm. Oh, the, no, <laughs> that, that's... That's a tank top, apparently. That is a tank top. Uh, but I always Aww. get comments like, oh, I love your vest today. <laughs> oh, yes, waistcoat. But anyway, uh, that's the purple and pink tones, including the cotton candy colour in there. Cotton candy. Uh, next up, here is another uh, word that we well, word that pronounce differently. So we say pastel, you say pastel. Pastel. And again, this is a lovely, <laughs> lovely collection of colours. I think a lot of these would work very nicely with the vintage toys as well. Absolutely, yes. And very good for like this time of year, spring, summer card yeah. making as well. I love the lilac. I love that like cappuccino kind yeah, of colour. Yeah, I would describe color. that one as. Um, that's gorgeous as well, green. like a mint green. Yeah, real spring green. That's Coming into your pink, pink again. Baby pink. <laughs> and there's, I think there's a nice lemon in this set there as is, well, which the is back. nice. We've got the, um, What's that like a, a bl like a pale like, blue? Yeah, it's sort of like baby blue, but on the screen there it looks more of like a silvery blue. Yeah, yeah. Um, here's a there's more like a what, what would you call that? It's like a gold. Uh, yeah, it does have a little gold, gold sort of tint to it. tinge to it, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. We come to and the then that lemon thing, at the back. That's lovely. Yeah, beautiful. Again, really nice. Um, ten different colours, uh, five sheets of each. Uh, at 13.59. What's the stock on that one, Erin? Um, the pastels. Pastels. The pastels. Pastel. <laughs> Over 40% of the stock gone. <laughs> Next, we're going to look at the vintage toy. Now, the vintage toys, I'm led to believe, you've got to be quick if you want to grab these, because I think we've only got, ooh, we've only got 10 more chances for you to buy. Wow. Uh, ooh, <laughs> nine, says Erin. Uh, so basically, if you want it, and here's the thing, we've got hundreds of people watching right now. If everyone who's watching the show right now decides <laughs> they want to get this, you're in big, big trouble because only, only nine people are going to get it. Uh, and, and these colours, again, specifically chosen to work with the colour. Yeah, right? so if you think about the colour tones in the Cut Into Colour toy pad, these will correspond with those beautifully. So you've got that love, gorgeous navy blue there. 
um, you've got your pink, so they will coordinate with your girls' toys and your boys' toys as well. Um, again, that lovely cotton candy pink. <laughs> Yes, cotton candy. Cotton candy. Um, and you, so you've got blues in here. You've got very rich tones. That's lovely as well, that blue. Very nice. Oh, that Silver. One. Yeah. Pla oh, platinum. Robot. Yep. Mix that with your, your purples. Yeah. And then you've got your greens in there as well. That wasn't far off. The, the last colour you just had wasn't far off the one that I'd embossed on my card. That one. That's got more of a white silver yeah. tone. This one had more of a goldy Gold tone. tone. Um, but equally as stunning. Uh, greens there, sort of like a. Um, Could a always go into green. your Christmas cards yeah. with this as well, actually. Ooh, and copper, that. that's copper. lovely. Stunning. You don't see that colour cardstock very often, that copper. No, I think um, why people are loving the, uh, the, the, card, the cardstock that you brought, um, A, the price is amazing, B, the yeah. quality is stunning, but I think also you brought some really interesting colours. Yes, yeah. a it's a nice colour it palette to work yeah. with, isn't yeah. it? Uh, eight chances left to buy that now. Yeah, eight. Thirteen pounds fifty-nine or nineteen dollars seventy-one. Now, feast your eyes over here, dear viewer, uh, because we have uh, <laughs> the uh, the vintage toy dies. So much chat about these. Um, is my favourite. I just need to move him forward a bit so you can see him in all his glory. Uh, the little bear here, um, which we absolutely love. Uh, he comes with um, a load of other toys from the, the toy room. So you've got your building blocks. That's a really cute edgeable. You've got a rocking horse die in here as well. All come with um, extra little sentiments. So he even comes with his little saddle, which you can pop on there. A little rosette. Uh, you've got a best friend sentiment. Down the bottom here, you've got your um, alphabet and your letters. That is an alphabet, Ben. Your alphabet and your numbers. That was like Jan earlier on. Here's the number H. Uh, I mean, letter H. You've got your letters and your numbers numbers there which you can use of course to personalize all your cards will work great with your building blocks and then we've got all of the toys for the boys and the girls retro toys you've got your, your biplane you've got your little train you've got your robot your rocket um, there's the little uh, toy soldiers there that used to buy in the little bags little jigsaw pieces to embellish with cars then the girls set you've got the little horse you've got rabbits you've got dollies uh, there's a little baby rattle and a pram in there as well you don't call it prams either do you what's a pram a carriage. Horse and carriage, yeah. 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 Anyway, <laughs> uh, it'll be a long evening. Uh, a stroller, apparently. Oh, uh, okay. Seven. Yeah. 5760 or 7680 uh, is your platinum price on these. Uh, and then also just want to bring to your attention the stamps. Uh, we are now at 60%. The problem that you've got here is this one. Uh, basically, there's barely any left. Oh, Ben. These. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the bear is going very well individually. So if he sells out individually, he sells out the bundle, you see. So that's what happens. Uh, but basically, all of the corresponding stamps to work with your dies are included in this bundle, save your alphabet and your, um, your numbers, of course. However, all of you can get for £31.97 or 42 62 What you can do, which a lot of people are doing, are pair up the stamps individually with the dies individually. If you can't go for the full bundles, you can pick your favourites. Or you might decide that you just want to go for the stamps because you're a stamper. Or you might just want to go for the dies because you're a die cutter. What I will tell you is the toy uh, card, now seven chances left to buy. That is going to sell out. Uh, you need to be quick if you want to grab it. Um, shall we demo? It is a good question, Erin. I think we shall. <laughs> few more hellos oh loads of hellos cool blimey um <laughs> right so we've got people watching from uh ohio kelly jones checking in nancy ross is watching from south florida helen wow. burke is watching from wigan i know helen yes do you <laughs> she watches um, our facebook lives on dawn Booby's page okay see if you know any more of these so uh beth metzger is watching from north dakota not tropical but at least it isn't snowing 68 degrees fahrenheit she says linda ryan in dudley no. Rhonda Crowley from Oak Park, Illinois. Uh, Terry Grewan, I hope I said your surname right, watching from Northern Michigan, not tropical here. Oh. Uh, Judy B's <laughs> in Pennsylvania. Wow. Marsha Nelson, we know Marsha, is warm in Essex, I bet. Essex, <laughs> tropical. Uh, it's warm so down south, you see. Da yeah, exactly down right. South. Uh, <laughs> Stacey's watching us as well saying the pearlescent card stock is yummy grab it quickly it's flying uh, Melissa Rye saying fabulous collection oh I know Melissa oh, you know Melissa yep she lives down the road from me 
<laughs> Fabulous collection, uh, one of my favourite, and the frames are gorgeous. Carrie Spearman is in from Kansas. Uh, I also watched several times when I was on vacation last week in Costa Rica. I think nice. that's the as we've got so far. <laughs> a bit more tropical than Wigan. And Felixstowe, where Melissa's from. Yes. <laughs> Christine Mahoney says, hey, on lunch break. <laughs> hey. Jackie Owens uh, is in from a sunny North Wales. Uh, Jane Wilson's loving the colours of the cardstock. Kim Nesbitt Edwardson is uh, saying, I love, 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 love these colours. Uh, and Lorraine Horner says, hi, Sharon, That's from Royal That's a name Barker. I recognise, yep. She says, you know me. I do know her. <laughs> says, me. We will get to the next time, yes. What is the G GSM on all the cardstock? All 300, 300. GSM. Well remembered, Ben. Um, well remembered. Demo time. Demo time. Right, so we're going back to toys now. So we have the lovely Edger die. So I just want to show you how this works. So this is a 7x7 seven seven card. And what I've done is your Gemini is really powerful to do this. Um, you may you need to have a little play around with your machine with the edge die because it's a lot of, of metal so you may need an extra shim i just put it straight through my gemini and cut like a dream yeah so it's cut down if i just put a colored piece behind there you can see i've actually cut into the card there so that has now given me a shaped card on there if i was to just cut it out of some cardstock i would get this effect and just trimmed it down mm -hmm. and then if i just brought in this dl that could then go on fit very nicely on there and then you would trim that up with your um your letters your numbers mm -hmm. whatever yeah. you know pop another color behind it and then that really pops out too so you've got various options you either cut into your card or cut it out of card and then layer it up does that make sense yeah makes sense makes sense okay so on this one i'm just going to pop a little bit of um card behind there because i'm just going to ink so we have got the gingham stencil. Ooh, 60% of the stock's gone. Wow. Mm. See, this is useful, though, for lots of different things, not just for using with this toy collection. Um, so we've got the gingham, and we also have the knitted jumper Ooh, as well. Yes. So, which is also a very useful. Nice for your winter cards as well, Christmas cards, yeah. little jumpers, well, and that say, kind of thing. It's quite a sort of card. It is, it, it is. Or if you know someone who knits, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. and you've got little elements on there, that would be really nice too. Would you like to choose, Ben? Which one shall we use on this card? Erin <laughs> beat you. Erin just beat me. Erin, uh, you <laughs> asked the question. She just went, ding him. Actually, it's a good choice because we're going to use some. So we're going to use some other. Great choice, Erin. Um, something that will go with it. So we'll we'll go with Erin. We'll go with Erin. So. Uh, the reason I've put this behind is that I don't want it to come through onto my, the rest of my card. So we're just going to add a little bit of ink through here. Alison Beebe is... Oh, no, Alison Is too. that a name you say? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's that's right. how I say it. Alison Beebe says, hi, Sharon, <laughs> you are rocking. Oh. Alison in Warwickshire. Ah, oh, bless. Uh, Kathy Kerr says, hello from Ontario, Canada. Ah, so we've got Canada, we've got US. We're all around Wales, the world, don't we? England. And Terry uh, on YouTube says, yes, Ben, you said my last name perfectly. Well done. Thank you. Aww. One tries one's best. Well done, Ben. Thank you. I do like praise. <laughs> I'm like a dog. <laughs> give, me, give me a snack and a bit of praise. <laughs> and I'm, uh, you've got my undivided attention. You've had lots of praise for your impressions today. Oh, you've liked you? Those, haven't you? I have, yeah. yeah I I'm, keep I'm saying pleased. to Ben he needs to go on Britain's Got Talent with his impressions. Maybe I should. Yeah, maybe they're saying yes. Maybe Craig's I saying yes. Maybe a bit of a laugh. Maybe next year. <laughs> <laughs> so isn't that gorgeous that gingham just in pink looks beautiful mm. so inside here that didn't sound like you did think that was nice <laughs> no no it did no no what it was no no you were like mm. no 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 what it was it was like mm. at the same time i was i was listening to those guys so it was like a mm, but i was still trying okay to... we'll leave it at that yeah <laughs> So, Erin um, chose well because I have taken from the cut into colour, you also get the background sheets as yeah. well. So I've taken the gingham, which is in the very gorgeous um, yellow and pink there. Just reminded me of Indiana Jones in the last oh crusade. Oh what are we going to do now? Erin, you <laughs> chose wisely. <laughs> and then I've used some pink from our pink and purple cardstock. So that's going to go inside this card here mm -hmm. there 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 
Oh, you know, Erin's oh, she's mine, Erin's mine, my nails, again. yeah. Did you see the, the union oh, yeah. flag have, on have there? Have you seen this? Get a close in on this, George. <laughs> George, 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 of the George. Oh, Here he comes. Oh, my goodness, George. Go <laughs> faster. <laughs> Go faster. Is that, got, a, is that as far as it seems in? Shall I move it up? You get closer. <laughs> We've got there the light go. shining on it a little bit. <laughs> nail cam. <laughs> Somebody needs to screenshot that for me so I can send to my nail technician because she'll be over the moon. There you this go. was a one-off design. She said, Sharon, no one's having, oh, no, wow. no one else is having these nails. Limited edition nails. <laughs> Right, moving back to card making. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, with my little waist bit that I trimmed off, easily distracted, aren't we? Oh, well, yeah. I'm not. You just that one, didn't you? Or was it me? I it, can't was Aaron. it was Erin. It was Erin. She was said nice nails. Yeah, Very distracting. It was. <laughs> so um, I always like to, to keep my little bit. So I thought, well, we'll keep that on there rather than putting it in the bits box that grows with all these little bits we're oh, yeah. terrible crafters we can't throw anything away well, no, I think it's, you, it's might it, it? you might need it one it's day you know you might need it one day right it's like all those cables and things that, that guys keep in drawers and oh, stuff you know my husband's like that yeah you, need, you might need them one day how many phone charges do you need exactly. you know you don't even own that phone anymore no, you never know. one day <laughs> someone might need it let's put our letters on first so these this is how the alphabet works so you've got your outer die and you've got your inner die mm -hmm. as well and then they layer up beautifully ah, okay. so i've cut the outer layer in pink the cardstock Oh, those are numbers as well, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. You're sorry, yes. Yeah. I <laughs> just did the same as you did. <laughs> See, everyone laughs at me. Oh, dear. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even respond either, did I? I was just like, yeah, there's the, there's the alphabet yeah, you, one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's late, Ben. It's, it's been a long day. Yeah, hasn't it hasn't been a long day, hasn't it? Uh, your friend Nicola's in. Hi, my beautiful crafty friend. Is that Nicola, Nicola Fenton? Fenton? She's on our design team. Just checking in before yeah. I get to work. You are doing a Aww. fab job, says Nicola. Oh, bless her. Yeah. We have a lovely design team. Yeah. Um, we have... Denise is on the team as well, right? She is. Yeah. She is. Is she yeah. watching tonight? Denise, I give us a wave if you are. Yeah, let us know, Den. Let us know. Um, we have a lovely design team. And um, we hang around on Dorby Booby Creations. Mm -hmm. We do Facebook Lives most days at four and eight. One of us will be on there. Um, and then there's also the Crafting with Dawn Booby group. Mm -hmm. So um, if you go in into the group, we just ask a few questions to join. And there's a gallery of photos there. So um, if you've bought the botanicals, you want some more inspiration, then you just go into the Albums tab. And then all the samples are there for you to peruse. Do you craft from like your various homes? you do your lives or we do, do, you, do yeah you, you don't do from yeah, so towers. no no so we do it from i do it from my craft room mm -hmm. um ellie does it from her kitchen with her dog around and oh, the kids around nice. and yeah it's just good yeah we, we started it in the first lockdown actually mm. um because we were all at home and you know it's company for people and we've carried on mm. so and people love it so we've then got the rocking horse um, and this is from the cut into color and so sh i've gone with the pink the pink rocking horse you mm -hmm. do get her in two different colors and you, um, if you, with the dies, you get the saddle individually, don't you? So if you want to, you do. Yep, yeah, you can. The saddle like yeah, you can. absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so I, I could have cut that into a yellow cardstock mm -hmm. or whatever I wished. Cute. What was your rocking horse called? Ned. Was your rocking horse? Neddy. Neddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was. He was like uh, grey with like right. a, a black mane and yeah. had a little um, little red nose. Funnily enough. Oh. Yeah, I used to love him. <laughs> We've got a little rosette that we can add on as well. So this comes with the rocking horse die set. And then with the die set where we've taken the blocks from, you also get some little flowers. Um, I say little, they're quite a good size. You know, they're quite a reasonable size, not aren't they? Not as small as flowers, No, they're not. Um, so you get four different flowers there. I'm just going to give those. A little bit of shape and dimension here. Wendy Jean is admiring your nails. Uh, Lorraine <laughs> is saying Dawn stencils are fabulous. I use them a lot. They are fab. They are They're so versatile, mm. aren't they, these stencils? Um, because you can do so much with them. And um, we've embossed with them over the last two days. We've yep. inked through them. You can spritz through them. You can use your stencil pastes. So versatile. 
Um, Eileen Hernandez joins us from Puerto Rico. Beautiful mm -hmm. and sunny near the beach. It's 95 today. Wow. Uh, well, we are well. And LQ says hello, everyone, from hot San Jose, California. I just wanted to say, enjoy seeing all the conversations that go on because it takes us away from all the craziness in the world. Absolutely. And that's the thing about social media of the last two years. It's brought everyone together, hasn't it? And we've got such a nice, crafty online community, I think. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think, um, yeah, the, uh, the craft community is fantastic and it's a great escape, isn't it? Yes. Particularly like you're saying, yeah. you, know, you guys do your lives, we're here yep. on Crafters TV. I think a lot of people, even if they're not maybe... Maybe if they think that they're not going to buy something, A, they usually end up buying something, yeah, yeah. Uh, but B, you know, we're here for people just to get away and enjoy Absolutely. the creativity and the uh, fun. Yeah, a lot of our ladies say, you know, they've made lifelong friends mm -hmm. online, even though they've never met, you know, maybe never will, um, because of distance, but, you know, they've made such nice, nice online friends. Jackie I Owens. That one says i love watching the db team uh, craft from home but sharon is on while i am free so i watch her the most oh bless Jackie. you often hear my uh, very old cat meowing in the background oh, yes, so your cat's 18, isn't yeah. she? He, he, he he 18 and a half What's yeah called? bobby bobby <laughs> so yeah you often hear him and people's like is that baby crying in the background I'm like no it's just my just bobby. senile cat ask him, yeah ask him for food <laughs> yeah because he forgets that yeah, he's like my cat does. yeah, yeah they, do, don't they? they do don't they do Put food down, she eats it, and then two minutes later, yes, she's like, I'm hungry again. Yes, but yes. Fit. Or they get really fussy at that age as yeah, well. Yeah. And, um, yeah. yeah. So there we have our little birthday card with the rocking horse there. Um, just added the flowers just to finish off there. We've done a little bit of stenciling. We've used that edge of dye. Um, and the papers we used were from the Cut Into Colour Pack, Ben. Fantastic. Yeah, that Cut Into Colour Pack you'll find on the uh, Shop The Day page as well. Uh, useful, useful to go uh, with this particular collection. Uh, but if you want to go for the vintage toy die set, we are now heading towards 60% of the stock disappeared. It's been busy right throughout the day for these, actually. Um, I think everyone's twigging on to A, just how different they are. Um, you've got a lot of different dies in there, but B, I think you're seeing the value for money because uh, you know, you're going to be able to use these for the kids and the grandkids for projects for them, but also the fact that they have got that vintage feel to them, these are dies that you're going to be using uh, for cards for you know, birthdays for people who are maybe 40, 50, 60, because it's going to take them on a trip down memory lane where they'll go, oh, I used to have a robot like that, or oh, I remember when I had a you know, rocking horse like that. Mine was called Neddy too. Um, the point is, it's all about the nostalgia. It's all about that sort of feel. And the great thing is with this collection, of course, you've got the, uh, the personalization with the alphabet and with those numbers. Those will work and play very nicely with the um, toy building block edge die. However, you know, you'll use these with other makes as well. If you want to put someone's name on, put their age on as well, boom, you're done. You're sorted with this collection. It's a brilliant set. Uh, 5760 or 7680 is the platinum price. The stamps are also proving really popular. Uh, uh, we are on our way to 70% of the stock disappeared here. Um, it's this little one here. It's this little one, this little bear, who's going to sell out this bundle. Uh, once he disappears, the bundle goes. Uh, you get all of the stamps to correspond with your dies here. Um, so they play very nicely together. They play very nicely individually as well. £31.97 or $42.62 for that full collection. And again, if you do want to go individually, go fairly quickly because we're very, very busy across the board. Um, but you know, if you like the Teddy, for example, you can get the Teddy die and the Teddy stamps, which work together beautifully. If you are going for any of the dies as well, I do recommend that you go for the uh, cut into color paper packs too, because they just make your collections go even further something else which you might consider and um, pop together which will work beautifully with the vintage toy collection is the vintage toy rectangle stitched die set 16 dies in total um, and again really really uh, handy to have these kind of dies within your collection great for all of your mats and layers great for making your cards with uh, and you've got that gorgeous uh, detailed stitched edge around it and when you think of all of the different sizes that you've got here as well it's a super super useful set 16 dies in total here as i said however that price which you've got used to seeing over the course of the day today remains 13 pounds 59 uh, or 19 dollars 71 um, if you want to go for that collection uh, proving very very popular indeed the stencils uh, again I think you need to get these because a 
Stencils are super, super brilliant for crafting and give you amazing backgrounds, but these stencils give you an amazing emboss. And I mean, as I say, you, you obviously can't feel that until you get it home, but you, I mean, you can see the depth of that emboss from a stencil. Yes. It's amazing, isn't it? It's, it's crazy. It's just a bit of plastic, but putting it through your machine, it creates such depth. And, you know, if you were buying the textured cardstock like that, embossed cardstock like that, mm. then that's quite expensive. You're going to make your own embossed cardstock just from that one stencil. But then you're going to ink through that stencil. You're going to spritz through it. You're going to use paste through it. So I just think the, the stencils are such a good investment because they're so versatile. Uh, it's three pounds ninety nine if you're platinum. Five dollars seventy nine. It's a real <laughs> steal there. Can't even get coffee for that now, Ben. To be honest, can you? Well, you can't, can you? <laughs> the, the, the posh coffees that I can never, yeah. never pronounce. <laughs> I get told off in coffee shops now because you can't Why? ask for like a you can't ask for like a, a white coffee. No, you, it's got to be a. It's got to be. It's got to have a funny latte name. Latte or yeah. Yeah or a. Mocaccino, I don't know. I don't even know what that is. Or Americano. <laughs> is that, I think what I have is an Americano with milk. Is that right? That would be a, a white coffee. Yeah. 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 No. You mean, you mean Americano with milk? No, just a white, <laughs> just a white coffee. Um, <laughs> 70% of your uh, gingham embossing stencil has also uh, disappeared. Very, very uh, gorgeous design here again. Brilliant for your stenciling. Look at that deep emboss that you're going to get as well. Deep for a stencil. I mean, again, seriously, seriously great design here. £3.99 uh, or $5.79 uh, if you want to pop that into your basket. We've then got two newer stencils for you as well. So these two launched in the last show. Um, and the, these, are, these are the same, right, as far as um, the emboss is concerned, yeah? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. You can do exactly the same with these two stencils as we've been doing with the other stencils. Um, this is really pretty with the script on there, inky handwriting, but you've got, like, the inky splats in the background as well. So great for your vintage cards, and it makes a lovely background for your botanicals. 3 99 or 5 32 And then the floral collage and... Um, as you were talking about this earlier on, because this is the one you used just a few moments ago, this kind yeah. of incorporates lots of the flowers within the botanical collection, it, it? does, it does. You've got the wisteria there, you've got the magnolia, I can see the Christmas rose, then you've got the butterflies, the foliage, um, and I'm going to use that in our next demo as well. But I think that's probably one of my best favourites that Dawn's done, but then yeah. we have lots of favourites. <laughs> but I do really like that. I use that a lot, that stencil. I tell you what, we have um, been given the green light for you to uh, jump right in to the uh, next demo. Okay, um, okay. Let's crack on. Okay. Um, just before we go into the demo, I just wanted to show a few more of the toys samples because I just found a few more that we haven't seen today. Um, so we've had the uh, background here, but I just love that with all the toys lined up and the words there, toys, one, two, three, four. Um, so these could be used for your spellings as well for children, for doing numbers and things. But I just love that, Ben. I think that's so cute, that one. Yeah, it should be. Um, and this one as well with the crayons. That was a good idea, oh, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, with the squiggle down there. I think that might have been our Denise. Yeah, that's our Denise. Um, and with the number on there too. There's your Teddy. So that's him with the cut into colour. And again, I said those jigsaw pieces make such good embellishments mm -hmm. just for adding a little interest. Um, oh. This one is looks like it's from our Nick. She's shaped all of these elements. Do you remember like building pl blocks like that, Ben, as yeah. well? I used and to remember then... building them up and my sister would come in and knock them down. Oh, that's not very nice, not very nice is it? it? <laughs> uh, it's all character building there, isn't it? Eh? And look how that knitted stencil looks in the background there. That looks fabulous, I love doesn't it. it? Uh, Crafter's purple yeah. coat as well. He looks like maybe he's off to the scouts or beavers or something with maybe. that on as well, doesn't maybe. he? Yeah. he? Doesn't he look fab? Um, again, oh, Teddy there with his gosh. glasses. Just coloured in, inked, and he looks so cute, doesn't he? Oh. And there he is again. He's ready for the Jubilee. Yes, he is. He is. Um, again, that knitted stencil in the background and those jigsaw pieces, I just adore. I think they're so cute. So I just wanted to show a few no, more because the girls work so hard mm. on um, samples, sometimes at very, very short notice. Yes. <laughs> you know how busy the uh, DTG Yeah, absolutely. It's board. like, can you do these? Yeah, yeah. for when? Yeah. Mm, Friday? Yeah, you tomorrow. know, two days? <laughs> <laughs> and then you, then you suddenly think, ah, it's bank holiday. We need to post, you know, earlier. So uh, the, the girls do work very, very hard. So I'm bringing this stencil in. This is our white um, cardstock we've got, the 50 sheets of premium mm -hmm. white. 
it is um, a special process. So your um, your inks sit on the top. They don't slurp into the cardstock. Yes. You get your genuine colours here. So. I'm going to go in with the purple. If you're new to stamping, you might want to put your low tack tape down, but I never do because I'm impatient. <laughs> so I just go for it. That uh, <laughs> premium cardstock, bottom of the screen, so £16.23.20. Platinum on that, three, twenty, four, eleven, eleven, eighty. 20 11 18 no. 12.80 <laughs> if you're shopping in the uh, UK. <laughs> if you're shopping in the US, oh dear. 23.20 less 20%, oh. four, uh, £4.64, 23.20 less £4.64. You've got your tablet no, there, I'm why don't you Google it? Though. I'm trying to the brain, <laughs> £4.19.20, so £4.64. Oh my goodness me, Ben. Uh, 20, 18.56. Got there in the end. <laughs> Aaron's got a calculator and she didn't she even help me out didn't. there. Oh, never mind. It's good to get the old <laughs> brain going with a bit of uh, mental arithmetic. So, for people who might be new, Ben, to um, Crafters TV, mm -hmm. if they've they've come in today, and I'm new, to be a platinum member, mm -hmm. what do people do? Do they just go onto the website and register, or well, so how does that work? So, I'll tell you. I'll Thank tell you. you. Tell me. Uh, well, so, if you want to join up today, you go to wherever your website is. So, if you're in us.com, crafterscompany.com. Yeah. UK, crafterscompanion.co.uk. If you're in Europe, crafterscompanion.eu. The top of the page, you'll see that little Club Inspire logo. Right. So you hit that, and then you put in your email address, your name, and a password, and then you become a member. And when you sign up today, uh -huh. you get 20% off your first order. Wow, so that's, that's good. that's the platinum price. So your first order, yep. you'll get that price on the screen, the purple box. Yeah. Whilst you also join, you'll get 250 points, which automatically makes you a bronze member. Okay. As a bronze member, you save five percent off every order. Wow! So uh, you then spend with us. Yep. You get a the more you spend, the more you point save for every pound. You yeah. Five hundred gets you a silver member. Okay. Ten percent. Yep. Gets a seven fifty. Right. You become a gold, gold. member, <laughs> which saves you fifteen. I knew that was coming. And then when you get fifteen hundred <laughs> points, you become a platinum member, which is a twenty. Wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. I think I need to sign up. I think you do. <laughs> I had my eyes on uh, Michelle's little caravan and gonks yesterday. Oh, yeah. Super cute. Super cute. <laughs> so when we take that off, we have a really, really pretty background. Just mm. simple, just mixing up the colours. Now, this is a card, Ben, where Sharon's going to sort of just see what she ends up with again, OK? OK. I thought you referred to yourself in the third person. That was great. <laughs> so we are just going to have a little play, a little play. We can add a little bit more of the text. So the text I have taken from the Magnolia. Mm -hmm. um, and they just they just work so well, all of these stamps. What I love about this is that you are literally just having a bit of a play, seeing what works. I am, I am. Splodging it down. Well, I wouldn't say I was splodging it. We're exactly, not splodging it, but collectively <laughs> placing it down. <laughs> not reaching really much thought going into it, just sort of eyeing it up and just going, yeah, oh, just going, yeah. yeah. See, you can like. even do this if you've got a little bit of ink left on there. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, just gave a little subtle background but there, didn't it? Third generation stamp. Well, ooh, good listening, Ben. Well yeah, done. Well you. done. So I've then got some of Dawn's pearl cardstock again. Mm -hmm. So that's going to sit nicely on there. So what, what kind of crafting do you like doing, Ben? You said yesterday you've sort of been dabbling in crafting. So what do I you do, like? Well, it's mainly paper crafting, so I do a lot of die cutting. Uh -huh. But m the big thing that I've really uh, loved doing uh, recently, which uh, is after we launched them, oh, I lose track of time, but my, my <laughs> main thing is iris folding. Oh, really? Yeah. We do these um, oh, sets wow. here where you get the template and um, the dies to be able to create the aperture, and then you yeah. put the template behind. And then you basically can just, it's basically iris folding by numbers. So wow. I do a lot of that. You've got to have a lot of patience for that. Oh, I, but yeah. I but don't I, know if I have a patience oh, for iris folding. Uh, but our sets make it really easy. Okay. And what I love is the fact that you're doing it on the reverse, obviously, and it looks a right old mess. And then <laughs> yeah. You over, and then you turn you it over. The and it's going, oh, oh um, wow. But and, and as everybody knows, when I, when I do craft, I'm, I'm quite slow and I'm quite clunky with it. Okay. Uh, but I get there in the end. And that's but what it's, it's all about, though, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. It's not, you know, it's not a race. It's no. it's it's about you switching off from the world. Mm -hmm. It's very mindful crafting, mm -hmm. you know. You can spend, I can spend hours in my craft room and yeah. think, oh, 
oh, I should be cooking tea now, or, you know. <laughs> I, just, I genuinely do wish I had. Uh, yes, Susie, Superstar Socials. My hashtag is hashtag the clunky crafter. So whenever I uh, craft, I put it on my socials, hashtag clunky crafter. But my daughter likes to um, craft as well. And what I love more than anything is when she decides she wants to craft. I, I mean, I haven't got a lot of crafty stuff. Yeah. I'll get me, um, you know, me, me midi out. I'll get the dies out that I've got, two stamps loads of paper and cardstock and I just let her play and it's what it's all about time. isn't it that yeah. is what it's all about but I think kids that's what uh, we're doing now really Ben well exactly right <laughs> and I think but, but more as you're sort of younger I think a lot of people as you get, get older are a bit worried about making a mistake or, or what if it doesn't work out but yeah. as a kid you just kind of presented with all this stuff to play with and yeah. you don't really care do you I taught a workshop um, a few weekends ago and um, you know one of the ladies was kind of saying or a couple of them was like oh I don't know if my card's going to be up to your car your standard mm. I said there's no right or wrong way in no. crafting it is literally just about you know switching off in the world and seeing seeing what you create really and you mentioned so. it earlier and that's what's lovely about all our communities i think is that there's a lot of kindness and a lot of love for what everybody does absolutely so you can pop your card onto you know i'm a yeah. practice companion page or yeah. on bibby page and sort of say this is what i've done and people you know will appreciate it yes people are always yeah. there to give you hints and tips and, and help exactly you to get, get right what you're doing exactly well, so. right so in our crafting with dawn bibby group you know we always say post your you know post what you're making and and some ladies say oh you know i'm not very confident I, and we, we, we say just post it yeah. we, we love to see what you're doing um, but also people can ask questions as well mm. so you know don't be afraid to post and say oh, I've made this and what do people think and yeah. um, what else do I need I've got a gap here what could I fill it with we all so, were beginners once yeah and we all learn together yeah. you know so Ellie on our design team is a whiz at mixed media yeah. um, and so I watch her live sometimes and I'm like oh wow you know she just creates um, such stunning things, but it's about it's about the education of crafting, mm -hmm. isn't it? And um, and watching and seeing what people do. And even with like you know guys like yourself, um, you know, and our, our team here who are you know more experienced crafters. So obviously you're here on TV, you're doing Facebook yep. lives, and you're demonstrating. Even like, you're, you're learning all the time. Oh, as well. absolutely. You know, uh, yeah. So many times, like, say, yeah, yeah, yeah. show me Debbie and Craig, and yeah. Debbie will sit there and she'll learn something off Craig and vice versa. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Um, you know, Denise and I will always text each other and say, oh, so what have you, how have you used this dye and how have you done that? And then when Dawn then takes the collection on TV, we watch her demos and we're like, oh, why didn't we think of that? Mm -hmm. You know, so it, you do learn all the time. We really do. Um, Pam Eads wants to know what colour ink you're using. I don't know whether she was referring to the, the green or the purple. So, the purple is wilted violet. Wilted These violet. are all oxides. Yep. The green was peeled paint. Okay, dokey. Okay. So, I've just inked up just a little bit on there um, in the purple areas. And I'm taking the die cut to the stamp here. Just move that out of the way okay. so you can see. Um, because I just want to press down on the flowers just to give a little bit of definition so you can of course use a stamping platform you can mm -hmm. use your acrylic block but this is just a quick way as well so just add a little bit of definition there on Fair there I've never seen it done like so before. we can add our flower on there feel like how are we doing for time we're okay 12 minutes. Oh, loads of time. We've got plenty of time. Loads of time. Let's have... Sam's got a bit of a quick finish at the end of the I show. Have, I have, got got a taxi a, booked. I have. I have. Um, enjoy really? the day. Shall we have enjoy the day? Enjoy the day, yeah. I've enjoyed my day I, with you, I've Ben. I've enjoyed my day both days with you. <laughs> um, Owen's just asking, because we said the word taxi. Did yes. anyone say the word cab here in the UK? I don't oh. think so. Sometimes. Mm. We have companies Sometimes like people do. something cabs, don't we? Or yes. like dial a cab. But don't yeah, yeah, you yeah. say cab, do you? No, sometimes. I'd say taxi. Yeah. I'd say taxi. But we, I don't think we'd ever say taxi cab. No, we have a taxi no, we wouldn't. Or a cab. Yeah. I thought yeah. that was an American thing, taxi cab. Oh. <laughs> my friend Karen gave me a lift to the train station on Monday. Mm -hmm. So I said she could start a new business, Karen's Cabs. Karen's Cabs. But with a K. Oh, Karen's, Karen's cabs, cabs with a K. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I like that. So we have Enjoy the Day. So that's going to come on to here now. Beautiful. Karen with her corgi nails. Oh, Karen's got corgi <laughs> Yeah, my nails. friend, yeah, she's got a corgi. So her Jubilee nails, she's got all red nails. And then on her ring fin finger, she's got a corgi. I mean, but she's, she's dog mad, Karen. Yeah. She loves she loves her doggies. We all have a so, so also from the embellishment set, so 
sorry, while we were chatting about taxi cabs and things, <laughs> um, I did go round the outside with one of the small flowers from the embellishment stamp set. Okay, so that's what I used to go around there. And then I have die cut with the dies, I've die cut the buzzy bees the buzzy buzzy here. Buzzy. They look fluffy. So they, so you, because I've cut them out with the white cardstock with the dies, mm. you've got the debossing still, remember? So all of Dawn's dies come with that debossing. And I've used her glitter shine pens just to colour them in as well. So you've got that little bit of sparkle. So where the pens have kind of uh, run into each other, it has given a bit of a fluffy feel. Really fluffy. You're right, Ben, you're Thank right. You. So we're going to pop our buzzy bees on here. Um, Beth also says, talking about Club Inspire, double points, triple points and bonus points we have as well for special events oh, if you're Club Inspire. Oh, helps oh, get fabulous. you to the next level. Um, fabulous. And Cathy Kerr, who uh, has messaged on YouTube, says, I love the idea. You know when you took the, uh, the die cut to the stamp? Yep. She says, I never thought of taking the die cut to the stamp. That is a great idea. Thank you. Hmm? Full of great <laughs> ideas. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, I can't really take credit because I've learned that from Dawn. So. Oh. But it's but this is what I'm saying. It's the education, isn't it? It's, you know, taking it on. So I think I'm quite happy with that, just like that, with the buzzy bees. That is beautiful. Buzzy bees. Shall we just have a couple, look at a few more samples mm. while we're here? Because we didn't show many of these this morning with the um, cut into colour. So... So I've stamped with that one. This is using the cut into colour, again with that frame. So that's one of your circle frames that Ben was showing you. So nice Christmas card there. Again, using the green cardstock from the blue and green. Here, using that stencil. So this one has actually been embossed through the um, uh, die cutter machine and then inked over the top. So that what gives a raised finish on there. So that's the magnolia. This one, again with that stamp, the inky background, and then using the cut into colour on top of the inked background looks very pretty. This one Nick has done. So she's used one of those frames, the rectangular frame. She's used the stamp in the background there, again with glitter shine pens, and then built up that dimensional. If I just tilt it there, you can see the dimension on there that she's that built up fantastic. with that cut into mm. colour. So that looks really beautiful. Mm. Um, and again, this one, Christmas Rose, so an inky background there, stamped in the background, and then used that cut into colour there, a little bit of stenciling there, and then stamped Christmas Rose. So you can see, um, you can either go down the route of your stamps, you can go down the route of your stencils, but everything will work together as this card shows you perfectly. Phenomenal. So many lovely comments coming through as well. Um, Claire Robinson on Facebook says, Aloha, Aloha. Um, starting my morning watching you two from Captain Cook, Hawaii. Captain Cook. What is that? Is that a, 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 a city, a, a town or? And it's, it, how do you pronounce it as well? Is it, it's Hawaii, isn't it? Oh, it is Hawaii. <laughs> oh, when I watch The Rock, on he does his, um, he says Hawaii. Mm. But anyway, where's <laughs> Captain Cook, Hawaii, Hawaii? I need to know. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sharon, <laughs> she's just going Hawaii, Hawaii, in my ear. Your of the, rock, then? Uh, the Rock. <laughs> yeah. I love The Rock. Do you? Yeah. Love a, bit, love a bit of wrestling. I don't really have a rock impression. The funny story I have with The, the Rock is that I started going to the gym. And my wife was very quick on this one. I was like, I was like, oh yeah, I'm building a bit of muscle now. And I said to my wife, I said, oh, so if I keep going to the gym, I said, soon I'll be like the rock. And she laughed and went, ha, huh, more like the pebble. <laughs> and she thought that was Aww. very funny. So that's now stuck. Um, so I'm, I'm the, the pebble. <laughs> Um, four Holidays Designs is saying, so pretty that last card. Gorgeous card, Sharon, uh, as well. Um, and Kathy Kerr saying, what stunning cards. Um, are we having a quick look here? Or am I saying bye to Sharon? Ah, oh, I'm saying bye to Sharon now. I want to say something. Oh, what? <laughs> They're telling me I've got to say goodbye to you. Cause you I've got a cab. Good on the cab. Um, can I just say what an absolute joy it's been the last two days? Thank you, Ben. It's hope, been amazing. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. I have. And thank you to you and everybody here who's looked after me as well. It's such a lovely atmosphere. So thank you very much, everybody. And to everyone at home who's tuned in, um, you know, I'm blown away by the, the far and wideness of everybody who's watched. So thank you to you at home, too. Oh, thank <laughs> you. It's been a pleasure. And hopefully we'll get you back here very soon um, as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure it'll either be you or, you or Dawn will be back soon. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully.
But thank, thank you, Sharon. Send our love to Dawn as well. Will um, do. Love, thank love, love, much. Sharon and the team <laughs> at um, Dawn Bibby Creations. Um, absolutely fantastic. Um, we've got lots more to come. I just want to recap on some of the goodies whilst uh, Sharon gets ready to catch her cab. Some of the other goodies that we've still got. So um, these rectangle uh, lace frames, or all the lace frames actually, have been proving very, very popular indeed. Uh, we are at... Uh, 40, that's not the right details. 40% uh, of the stock um, has disappeared here in uh, all of these different sizes. So again, really lovely way to be able to um, mat and layer these up. But again, great for making your car blanks, great for, uh, you know, just all sorts of projects, really. Uh, when you think about all the different sizes, six dies in total, 13 pounds 59. 1971 then you've got your squares again we've got all of the uh shapes and sizes that you would want really these you're gonna have to get a little bit of a wiggle on actually uh wiggle it just a little bit let me see you wiggle it uh because uh 70 percent is getting to that time of night after two long days he's feeling a little bit funny uh 70 percent of the stock has gone 13 pounds 59 or 19 71. Next up is your ovals. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Uh, who is the fairest of them all? 40% of your ovals have disappeared. Um, I think these particularly look nice on the, um, on the horizontal, but um, either way, either or, again, you've got six dies in total uh, for all of those gorgeous mats and layers at £13.59 or $19.71. And then in you did is the circles. Half of the stock has gone. Thirteen pounds fifty-nine, nineteen seventy-one uh, is the deal on those. I would, um, I would go quite quickly on those because obviously we're going to be looking at. Um, deals from uh, creative cravings in just a few moments time but people will continue to shop uh, the dawn bibby goodies so um grab them don't just think oh, i'll come back later because i think a lot of things will sell out before the end of this show uh, especially the card stock that we've got which has been proving really really popular uh, the pastels or the pastels uh, 50 <laughs> I feel like I have to say the words differently now, especially when Erin's in, because she says everything differently. So pastels, pastels, um, with the cotton candy. No, yes, cotton candy, candy floss. Um, all of these beautiful colors. So 10 sh uh, colors, five sheets per color. So you're getting 50 sheets. Premium quality cardstock, 300 GSM as, we, as well as we said. So perfect for um, more of your construction in there too. And some really lovely colors. I think this would work very nicely with um, some of the characters that you've got within the uh, vintage toy set. But a nice sort of uh, bright, fun collection for uh, this time of the year. And look at that pearlescent sheen that you've got as well. £13.59 or $19.59 if you are a platinum member. Uh, next up, what about, says Erin, some purple and pink. We are approaching 70% of the stock disappeared here. Uh, you will see why though. Look at the gorgeous colours. Lots of colours in here. I think you might, uh, potentially might be using uh, over the course of the next week or so because there's some lovely uh, purples in here for your jubilees. Uh, but again, what I've loved most about this, not only the quality of the cardstock that you're getting, uh, not only that pearl finish, but also the fact that you've got lots of beautiful uh, different hues and colours that potentially uh, I don't think I've seen before lots of different hues of all of your purples and pinks in there uh, £13.59 or $19.59 is the platinum price on your purples and your pinks next up The greens and the blues, you'll have the blues if you miss out on this, because 75% uh, of the stock has gone. Um, once again, uh, lovely, lovely colours, lovely hues, lots of different greens in there as well, uh, lots of beautiful blues too. Ten different colours once again, five sheets of each colour, 300 GSM. I particularly like that one sort of like a mint green that you've got there. Uh, and then as we go through into your sort of uh, lighter blues and turquoises here as well, uh, you're at $13.59 or $19.59. 75% of the stock gone there. And the vintage toy set is now limited stock. There's green on the screen, which means it soon won't be seen. 
Thank you, George, George, George of the joystick. Um, and again, these colors specifically chosen for the vintage toy collection. But as you can see, a lovely wide range of colors uh, that you are going to be uh, using there's that card and candy um baby pink baby blue in there as well um love that sort of um platinum you've got in there too 13 pounds 59 or 19 dollars 71 once again go quickly on that because that limited stock by the way represents uh, single figures i think we're talking now uh well it was before wasn't it i think we're about seven six maybe five remaining there uh, you've got to go swiftly if you want that in your life how many left oh two chances left to buy. Uh, what a brilliant day it's been, a brilliant couple of days. Once again, a massive thank you to um, Sharon and all the team at um, Dawn Bibby Creations. Uh, lots of you just saying uh, that you've enjoyed watching Sharon. Gilmore saying, we enjoyed watching Sharon. Please come back. Pammy says, please come back, Sharon. It's been fun. Hasn't it been fun? Uh, and thank you, Sharon, says Kathy Kerr. Love everything. Kathy Kerr also says, what do the British call pop? My cousins call it soda, and it always makes me think of baking soda when they say it. I think we call it soda. Like, I think pop, pop's like a bit of a, pop is more of a northern thing, I would say. Northern thing. Uh, fizzy, we might call it. Do you guys ever call it fizzy? Get a can of fizzy? Fizzy, fizzy drink, a fizzy drink. A can of fizzy drink. Fizzy pop's more of a northern thing, but pop, fizzy drink. I don't think anyone really calls it a soda here, unless you're having a soda, like a cream soda. But that's not the best thing in the world anyway, is it? Um, right. 20 past 7 UK time, uh, which is what, 20 past 2 Eastern, uh, 20 past 11 uh, Pacific time. And we have switched over and Jan is with us in the studio. And I believe uh, you're going to give us a preview as to what we've got coming up for the next hour and a half. I am, I certainly am. It's all magic, isn't it? It's got magic hands out there. Our Tracy, bless her. She works so hard behind the scenes. Yes. And uh, as if by magic, you know, one out, one in. You just jump on that travel later, don't you? Yeah, just, just, sort of just literally, you know, it's all there for us. So we've got some lovely sets coming up in this next sort of, uh, what have we got? Just over an hour and a half, haven't we? So I'm going to bring back those silhouette stamps and stencils. If, you, if you've been with us all day, we did a little bit on this on Wake Up Call this morning. We did the fairy. Yeah. But there are lots in this set. And if you love your inks uh, as much as I do, then these are a must. They really are. There's some beautiful sort of elements in here. Uh, I think when we go to demos, we'll perhaps have a closer look at the board so you can see what's involved in them. But you can just see there, the background's all been inked. And then that black silhouette has been inked through a stencil um, a mask put on just to pop the moon in there really really quite simple to do but again very very effective you can see here we've got that beautiful that little girl again she's sat there with the puppy Aww. this time on the swing really cleverly done isn't it yes yeah. so again inked backgrounds really nice and then that black ink to go through there to make the silhouette image again we've got the couple there on this one just popping that little bit of diorama in there so you've got your sentiment in the back again all inked up using a stencil on the sides here from a different uh, collection just to add a bit of detail it might be that you like that one uh, it reminds me of the, uh, the sort of the Serengeti oh, yeah. uh, with the uh, the sunset there and then uh, the animals and again have different you been animals Serengeti? Pardon? have you been I haven't no oh. I would love to go somewhere like that but my adventures are not that um, not that diverse. No. No. Bit of Greece. Yeah. Bit of Spain. That's all right, Greece and Spain. Yeah. Maybe a bit more uh, woven safari park. Bit, of, that bit of Yeah, been to Yorkshire Wildlife Park. Will yeah. that do? Yeah? yeah. Seen the lions. Yeah. And then this morning we did one <laughs> similar to this with a nice inky background with the fairy on there. So we've got those coming up soon and we're going to try and get a demo in with those. We've also, I haven't had a chance to play with these yet, but I absolutely adore these. We've got these little outline flowers which are all die cuts. Yeah. And then you can colour them with any medium. Now we've got the tricolour aquas on, so we're going to have a play with those. We're going to do a little bit of inky, mopping it up and colouring the flowers in. But three different designs with different different sort of sprays of flowers there's nothing to stop you mixing and matching if you want to buy the set but just look um, the features you know teaming them up with uh, ink backgrounds again with your um, pattern papers adding extra die cuts in there and they make a really really nice 
design on there so you can put them together however you wish whatever colors you fancy in there so hopefully we're going to have a nice colorful demo coming up with those but we're going to start the top of the show or my segment of the show with these lovely word sentiments yeah, so, so again lots of different ones really nice thought out sentiments i think on these uh, a bit different to what we used to with just your happy birthday and your congratulations and you know all those these are actually more like a, almost like a little mini verse yeah and they are just enough to be a central focal point on your cards so different designs there we're going to actually demo this one the if Ooh. friends were flowers not this particular style but we're going to use this die with if friends were flowers i'd pick you you've got that celebrate one with the cake on there the but again i've just picked a couple out because i love to show you know same die but a very different look. This has got quite a jubilee, jubilee feel to it, hasn't it? it? Yeah. Even though it was made a little while ago, I think that one would be great for, for celebrating the jubilee, wouldn't it? Yeah. And then again, you know, if you want to pop them into your diorama card, you can see there for just straighten that one up a little bit. You can just see how you can give them a little bit of depth as well. Yeah. Little foam flowers on there, you know, mix and match with whatever you've got. So we're going to start demoing with uh, with these um, for my sort of top of my section of the uh, the show. Yep, yeah. fantastic. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, we've got plenty to show you. Uh, we're here till nine. Of course, don't forget. For those of you, I know a few of you were caught out yesterday, and you're like, oh, finished at eight. Oh no no no. We go until nine, so we've got just over an hour and a half left to go, uh, and it's me and Jane all the way. So um, let's have a look at these. Uh, the beautiful um, dies that you've just seen, really, really cute. And they, they're putting your sentiment at the uh, forefront of your project. You've got your outer die there, of course, to be able to um, to cut that aperture so you can cut it into your card, uh, cut it out and create uh, a nice little layered up uh, tab as uh, as well. Uh, and you're getting all 12 dies with some beautiful, beautiful sayings. And these are great as well because they're big enough to color if you want to. Uh, you know, some of these you can, um, as I say, potentially do a little bit of paper piecing with if you like. I mean, there's lots of different ways to be able to use them some of them i think also would lend themselves very nicely to a little bit of uh, the gilding flakes that we've had recently or maybe your foil press if you've got that so many different ways to be able to use them and as jan was saying we've got uh, sentiments which are going to cover off i think lots of different events you're not stuck to things just like oh happy birthday or a, you know a happy anniversary or whatever it might be you've got lots of uh, different sentiments that you've got on here so if friends were flowers i would pick you so like i think we're doing a really lovely range of sentiments at the minute to kind of give people an uplift if you just want to you know make somebody feel a little bit happy because they're a bit down in the dumps uh, thank you for everything that you do uh, if you uh, well I mean this is just the best one in the collection as far as I'm concerned uh, it's time to celebrate with cake Lunch of cake. I mean, when is it not time to celebrate with cake? I had two slices of cake yesterday. Did you? Yeah, I had one at lunch. Yeah, it was because Christina uh, uh, made a lovely cake uh, <coughs> before and left me some in the fridge in the cafe. So I had some cake at lunch. So I was thinking, oh, I better not have any more cake. And then when I got home, uh, my Daisy um, had made a cake. They're doing like a Great British Bake Off thing for the Jubilee. Right. And so I got home and she'd made a big so chocolate So you had cake. to try that oh, as well. Of course well. I did. I could what, not try What parent would say no? Exactly right. Doing it for the kids. Exactly right. <laughs> so, That's your excuse and you're sticking to it. Yes. Don't, don't judge me. And the, the thing about that, which I absolutely, I must just quickly tell you. Um, so they could, they could take a picture of it and send it in and they could judge on the picture. Or uh, <laughs> their teacher, this is brilliant, had said, if you um, bring in a piece of the cake for me, you'll get extra house points. Which I just think, I said, if I was a teacher, that's exactly what I would do. Yeah, bring me in a slice of the cake, five extra house points. And apparently Daisy was saying she had about 11 or 12 tubs of cake on her desk the next day. Brilliant. Extra house point if you bring me cake. Uh, <laughs> uh, count your blessings uh, you've got here as well, which is really, really beautiful. Lovely sentiment. Faith, hope and love. I think that as well kind of lends itself to maybe like home decor pieces too. You see, you see lots of home decor pieces with those yeah. sort of um, statements on, don't you? And then this one here, which is lovely. Uh, your friendship means the world to me. Um, what, £60 normally, $77, you're saving $20.98 or $27.20, that's a 35% saving. Platinum is £31.17, $40.40 if you're shopping in the US. But let's see how easy these are to use then, Jam. Honestly, really straightforward, you know, the machine does all the work again. So whether you're using a Gemini or whether you're using any other die cutting machine, these will work. They are just a thin metal die and they come in two parts. So you've actually got um, a, a, a sort of 
like a mat layer for want of a better uh, example and then you've got your piece that fits inside with all the detail on so I've just got a couple of pieces of card that we're going to work on I just need to grab um, a little bit of tape we'll have uh -huh. one there we go and I'm going to cut the outside layer in that lilac okay so just uh, just an a flat piece that one it's not got any detail in it and then all the details in this one so again pop that one down and we're just going to pass these through the Gemini and get those die cut ready okay so if I cut those pieces down a wee bit we don't need them to be quite so big and they'll both fit on my I've got my large Gemini out which is my sort of go-to machine, my yeah. craft room set up with the large Gemini out always. And more often than not, I use the junior plates uh, through the large Gemini wherever possible, just to sort of protect and create a bit of longevity with the larger ones. I only use the larger ones if I'm working on a, a larger um, project mm -hmm. or if I'm cutting, you know, like this, we've got multiple cuts. So again, just to pop that one through and cut those out. So we're going to get a really nice sort of scallop piece to go underneath. And then we've got the white one with all that detail on. So just to pass that one through. And these would also fit through your midi as yes. well. They're a wee bit big for the mini, but they would easily pass through your midi uh, if you're using the hand turned machine. So again, we've got that lovely element that's gonna go towards the back of my setup there. So you can see we've got that lovely scalloped one. And then I've got the one with all the pieces in there. So again, if I just take the tape away, we've got some scrap. And then I just need my pokey tool just to poke. I'm going to release it out, I think, and then look at what bits we've got left in. So again, I like to just tease the die cut away from the die. I feel that you just have a little bit more control yeah. and don't snag it. Now, there are one or two pieces in there that I can clean out in a little while. Uh -huh. Um, but I just want to pop these through here. So again, you know, where the wording is, some of the wording is, is, is you know, sort of quite delicate. So just take your time, either with the die brush or with your pokey tool, and just take those elements out. You can see that that's all cut, but just spend a little bit of time because there's so much intricacy around the wording there that you don't want to do any damage to. You can see here, look, there's a lot of little pieces around that wording so yeah. just free it all up and just let those happy those extra pieces i quite the, enjoy doing that it's very therapeutic it isn't it the bigger yeah. pieces come out fine yes uh, it's just those little pieces as i say take your time over it and just um it's what they call weeding in the trade weeding weeding Ooh, yeah okay. you know people that use the um the big cutting machines yeah and sort of embroidery work and things like that the embroidery machines they put a piece of um fabric behind it and embroider and then it's called weeding just taking out the little elements in between so you can see there if we move that one out of the way now we've got that lovely clear die cut uh, there if friends were flowers i'd I pick you me. so again this fits perfectly over your mat layer or i quite like twisting them so that you've got that sort of extra effect and what I've done is I've cut another one in black. So I've cut the, the, this one again in black. And we're just going to do a little bit of drop shadow on it so that it stands out a wee bit better there. Yeah. And again, it's up to you whether you twist it on that mat at the back. It makes sort of like a, a more, more like a doily effect around it or whether you have it central over. If I, if I show you the black one, you'll see what I mean there. You can either have it lined up with the actual mat layer like so or you can twist it so that the scallops land in between the scallops, if that makes sense. So whichever way you fancy. Oh uh, yeah, okay. I'm just gonna swap that one out because I've put some, uh, where are we? I thought I had, I've got some little gems somewhere, but I'll find those out in a second. So we'll carry on with that one. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my <coughs> dotty tape pen for this one and we want to layer these up. So I'll just take a piece of the scrap card and on the back of the white layer, I'm just going to add really lightly and again go in the direction of the text because you've got all that delicate text have a look at in what direction it's running and then work that way with your tape pen rather than going against 
the direction and snagging it because it is really nicely die cut the last thing you want to do and I'm, I'm really heavy handed with stuff so I have to mm. remind myself not to get too giddy with it so we're just going to pop the dots on there and then what I'm going to do is line that up with the black one and then just if I work on there so that you can see a bit better I'm going to line it up as if I was going to go straight over the top and then I'm just going to take it slightly to one side so that we've got that black shadow Ooh, okay just so to help break it up a little bit and makes the uh, the writing stand out but with the dots there I've got nothing in the gaps so if I'd have used my double-sided tape pen there, the, the tape would have stretched across the gaps and you see all the glue, yeah. which ends up in all sorts of trouble because you end up with things stuck to it that you don't want to. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pop that one then on the back of here. So again, I'm going to use those dots again, just really lightly in places on the back there. And this is the same tape that's in the ones that you're used to in the double-sided tape runner. It's just in a dot form rather yeah. than the, the whole tape. So it's just as strong. It will do the job nicely. And then we've got that nice little topper, which is going to be the focal point of our card there. So that's my topper made. You can see we've got that lovely text and the drop shadow just gives you that yeah. element of, it's not quite flat, it just it sort of emphasizes it a wee a bit. bit. So I've just popped some mats and layers together to make a card here. So I've done my card and I've done a little bit of scoring. I just need to reinforce those score lines. Um, Kathy Kerr just said on YouTube, my problem is that I get addicted to watching these shows and then I don't actually do any crafting. Uh, that's the thing there, isn't it? And the, the thing is, you start watching, you think, oh, I have five minutes, and an hour later, you're still glued. Uh, Linda's joined us from, uh, how do you say this, Mar Maryland. Ma Mar it's not Maryland, that's what I said. What did Erin say? Maryland. Maryland. Uh, for Holidays Design says, I really like these, Jan. They're like a creator card. That's it. Yes, they are, aren't they? It's creating yeah. that topper for you. Yeah. I was just trying to remember how I folded my card. We're going to go for that sort of, uh, that shape. It's like, uh, it's called, I think it's called a wardrobe card. A wardrobe. It's a bit like the, the one uh, Michelle made last night, which is slightly more extended, that she was called like a bay window card. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Is that so the official name? Pardon? Is that the official name for one? I don't oh. know. I just feel like we made I've always known. I don't know why it's called a wardrobe. Maybe no. because it just stands out from the wall like that. I don't know. Maybe. But yeah, so yeah. I've just got some mats and layers using uh, papers from that Positive Thoughts collection again. So I'm going to jump to the double-sided tape this time. I don't like to wait, waste the dots where they're not actually needed. Save mm. those for your die cuts and then use the double-sided one just for adding mats and layers. So I've got one to go in the back like so, which is just slightly smaller than my card there. And then I've got some to go on these front panels. So I've got some little slim ones for the thin sections. And then I've got some wider ones again, matted with that lovely lilac Centura pearl that we did the die cutting from. So we need to okay. pop that one got the, on the uh, one side. Jan fan club in tonight, doing a few fan club messages. Oh, bless them. Uh, Beth Metzger says, I love it when Jan is on teaching and she has such beautiful projects. And then Kathy goes, me too. Jan is the best. Oh, thank you, guys. Arlene Hernandez says, I learned so much here. Uh, see, she's even teaching us how to use the tape pens. That, you see, is why I always say Jan is so very thorough. Because um, I think you always teach. Well, I always work on the basis that there are new viewers exactly out there. Right. Exactly right. New viewers, you yeah. know. I mean, some of them have been crafting a while. You know, I'm a bit of a dinosaur. I've been crafting for like far too many years to that I like to remember. Craftosaurus. Uh, yeah, Craftosaurus, that's me. Um, not quite, got, I was just talking to Tracy outside, not quite got the memory that I used to have. It's failing me on occasions. Oh, I have to write, I have lots of lists now. Lots of sticky notes to remind me to do things. Oh. Uh, we were just having a laugh outside before the show. Um, what sticky notes do you do things generally? Just, just in any, every in parts of life. Yeah. Just like, remember to do this, collect that, put that, yeah, I have to. Uh, and yeah, we were just having a bit of a laugh about it. Um, but I just think, you know, there's always people that are just starting their crafting journey. And Creative Cravings is aimed at the new crafter. So, you know, I don't want to go too technical with things. And just explaining, you know, it might be that 
somebody sees the tape pens and sees us using and thinks, well, why are there two different ones? Yeah. It might just be something that sometimes we tend to overlook that in that we're busy doing whatever it is where, you know, we're promoting, whether it be the dyes or whatever. But just something as simple as the difference between the tape pens might answer a question that somebody doesn't want to ask because they might feel a bit silly. You know, sort of like, there's, I always say there's never a silly question. Yeah. Uh, I used to say this to the children when I was teaching, you know, it was like, please ask because it's one of the best ways to learn by asking questions. Even, you know, you might think it sounds silly, but somebody out there will also want to know the answer to that same question and be afraid to ask. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't mind the questions. Throw them at me. I will always answer what I can. If I don't know the answer, I can usually find it out from somewhere. But, uh, but that's part of the job. So that last piece, I've just popped some foam on because what I want that to act as, it's almost like a little bit of a, an easel design. I want to, this one to act as a stopper for when it's open. So I've just put the foam pads on the back of that one. Mm -hmm. And we're going to pop that one level with that outside edge along there like so I'll just line that up with the edge of the mat layer and then what we're going to do on this piece that's actually jutting out now so you can see that sort of shape so on the front piece here we're just going to simply attach oh wow our piece on there now I did have so oh there they are I'm going to say I did have some nice pretty gems to match the ones that I'd put on there so we'll you put those on as well so all I'm going to do is pop tape down the center of that piece because it's just going to attach to that one here and then literally center that in the middle of the panel, pop it flat so that I can press it down. And then I've just got one or two of these. You don't need a lot. You can, you can pop them all the way around the edge if you wish. I was gonna pop three at the bottom like so. And then I was gonna do three to match it. And this is just, just some out of my stash, just some lilac ones to pick up that, um, that lilac Centura pearl on the top there and that's as simple as it gets you know so decide on your card style you've a little bit of die cutting and if I turn you that one round there you can see you've got that lovely sort of style that tucks behind and just creates that image and using that set that lovely sentiment as your focal point on the card there so if friends were flowers I would pick you Ben I would pick you too Craftosaurus. What kind of flower would you be? A craftosaurus, that's me, yep. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of flower would what I be? What kind of flower would you be? Oh, I don't know. I don't think that's for me to, to say, <laughs> is it? What, what kind of flower would you be, guys? Okay. And, and also, what kind of flower would, would jam be, do you reckon? If we, were, if we were planted together in the garden, what, what would I be and what would... What would Jan be? We're asking for trouble there, aren't we? Uh, we are asking for a bit of trouble. George is just saying one would definitely be a sunflower. Yeah. That was better than the response I thought we'd get. I thought so I was about somebody I was expecting to say, well, one of you would be a weed, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, no, name us in flowers. Um, uh, yeah, that, that, that's quite nice, actually. <laughs> uh, um, Marilyn P says, well, that's why I call her Queen Jan. She is a majestic teacher, uh, creative, thorough, and just so calming. Yes, three words that I would definitely use when it comes to Jan, creative, thorough, and calming. Uh, Nick Connie says, wow, Jan, I love that wardrobe card. Uh, and Pammy says, I couldn't figure out why my dotty tape pen wasn't working last night. I spent five minutes fighting with it before I realised it was actually empty. Oh, do you know, it's what frustrating when they get to the end and you don't realise. I've done that many a time. And you, you keep trying to twist it on yeah. and don't actually realise that it's got to the end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've done that many a time. Easily done. Easily done. Um, and Superstar Susie on the socials are saying, I've missed you so much, Jan. So lovely to see you. You're such a great teacher, so patient and such beautiful projects. Thank you very much, uh, and I appreciate all the comments. And as well as my hashtag, hashtag the clunky crafter, you guys uh, are mentioning, uh, hashtag craftosaurus is now trending as well. I, re I really like that one. I really like that. Uh, let's just quickly show you all of the designs that you're going to get in this collection. So it's a 35% saving tonight. And you, you've seen actually how craftable these are. Really, really quick and simple. Putting those beautiful sentiments at the focal point of your project. Uh, and again, really simple. Whether you've got the, uh, the midi, whether you've got the junior, you're going to pop these through absolutely no problem at all. And you've got lots of different occasions uh, as well. Natalie M just saying Jan would be a rose. A rose? That's nice. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, George, George has said a rose for you, a sunflower for me. I 
so I don't think that's too bad. I'll take that. Look at that thing. Yeah, 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 not too bad. They say it could have been a lot worse, couldn't it? <laughs> uh, if, uh, there you go. It's time to celebrate with cake. Lots of cake. Uh, then you've got count your blessings, faith, hope, and love. And lastly in this collection is that one there, your friendship means the world to me. Uh, 31, 17, 40, 40 is the deal there. We've also got a lovely deal, best ever price deal actually, on the um, Silhouette Floral dies. Now this comes as a bit of a bundle, bundle, uh, because what we've actually done is we've, we've bundled together some beautiful dyes. We've also given you a selection of our tri-colour um, aquas as well. I'm sure you get three lots here. Jamie, you might have to check that for me. I'm sure you do. Um, I'm also giving you some watercolour card as well. So the dyes are here. Now these are um, absolutely beautiful. So your silhouette florals. So do you know what, if you'd like to create your own background, um, with things like your tricolour aquas, funnily enough, these are going to look absolutely beautiful. But then again, with a lot of the cards that Jan was showing a little bit earlier on, if you just love creating like depth and dimension, building your own bouquets on the front of cards, again, these are absolutely perfect for doing that. So really, really craftable. So many different uses. That's the butterfly meadow. And once again, you know, these are all going to play very nicely with each other. So you can really create some, uh, some beautiful scenery. You can create some beautiful bouquets. Uh, that's the bumblebee paradise. Uh, and then also in this collection, you've got that gorgeous uh, scent of summer. So lots of different florals included in there, um, which as I said, will be uh, beautiful cut out and colored, um, you know, with your bright cardstock, beautiful cut out into the black as well. When you're making your own sort of uh, mixed media backgrounds to create that silhouette effect, they will look stunning. So. Uh, three die sets you're going to get, 15 dies in total. Then you're going to get your tricolour aquas. Uh, as I say, best ever price on this particular bundle. These obviously water-based, um, so you can do all of your different watercolour techniques with these. And it's, it's three pens in each pack, if you like. So your colour basics here, three pens. However, with the three pens, you've got three different colours. So it's like you're getting nine colours within the three pens. Um, and as you can see, we've popped together some really, really lovely colours. So you've got your warm primary, your cool primary, and your complementary within the colour basic. So you've got the ability to you know, create your own little um, colouring palettes with these, mix the colours up to create different colours, add the uh, water of course to be able to create different hues of those different colours as well. So there's lots of different ways uh, to be able to use these with all of your water colouring techniques. Then we've got the floral meadow, again three pens but nine different colours um, through your bright florals and your warm fiery and your uh, fresh verdant. And then you've got all of your uh, great outdoors, so uh, your uh, botanics, your cool marines, and then your rich florals as well, the pinks and purples there too. So it's nine pens, but it's 27 colours, and then I guess as many different colours as that you can create by mixing and matching, and then you know the different hues of the colours as well with the pens, um, which really does make the colours that you can create almost endless. So we've given you the dies, we've given you the pens, you will get three sets, I've lost a packet somewhere along the line, uh, and then you're also going to get uh, the watercolour cardstock with it as well, so that's the cardstock medium that you're going to be using with these pens. So pretty much we've packed together there a really lovely set that you can get created some gorgeous projects with it's 25 pound saving 33 dollars you're saving 38.44 is the platinum price here or 50 dollars 28 um let's get on over to uh, to jan and have a look at these this is a really lovely collection because you've kind of got everything you need here haven't you? absolutely it's almost like a little starter kit, yeah, yeah. isn't it yes yeah. so if you want to sort of have a dip your toe in uh it's a lovely one to have you know the dyes are really really pretty and of course you've got those lovely watercolor pens to have a play with we've even popped you the watercolor card in and that's what i'm going to use i'm okay. going to die cut the flowers out and then we're going to use the pens to uh, to color them so i've got butterfly meadow here which is just one of the sets and you can see you know they're quite a good size the dies on there so what we're going to do is we're going to take these off i'm just going to cut them all so that you can see what they actually look like if i can get them off my uh, backing sheet the tape that they use on these, these are really, really strong. Yeah, they're not going to uh, get It's not going trend, anywhere, what, without a doubt. There we go. Just release it off there. They've been off there once as well, and I've stuck them back on. I've obviously done a good job. So literally, we're just going to pop these onto the white card and just pass, pass those through the machine. And you can cut them as many times as you wish. So I think we'll tape them down just to make sure they don't go flying off into... Uh, into the air so just pop a little bit across to make sure that they're safe 
I've done this many times where I thought, oh no, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. And then you lose one or you get half a die cut and it's really frustrating. So it's worth spending the time just popping that little bit of tape. And then again, we'll take those plates and just pass these through the machine there. So again, you know, if you've got these, will easily fit through um, your mini. So from the mini upwards, if you just wanted to use the little hand crack mini, which we've got on offer today, then they would fit, you know, cut them individually. But again, it's a means of allowing the children to craft with you. You don't have to worry about the electronic machines. Uh, if you've got one of the electronic Geminis, then you've got the facility to literally cut them all in one go there. Yeah. So all I've done is pass that through the once. And then we've got that lovely arrangement of flowers to play with. So again, just be careful taking them out of there. Just as you're peeling those out, Jeffrey's um, weighed in on the what flowers would we be. Uh huh. Jan would be pink slash white peonies. Ben is a thistle. <laughs> <laughs> P.S. Note, Ben, I grow thistles for the purple silver flower heads and I've made wreaths and used them in flower arrangements. Ah, I see. So not what you think everybody no not what you think not what you initially thought i'm glad thought. he qualified that what are you thinking a little bit prickly is that what you're thinking <laughs> that's not me is it thank you jeffrey i'll take that as a compliment so i'd rather be a peony though i think pop those out they've all got release holes and if for any reason they don't want to come out of the die then just use your pokey tool there and we've got some lovely sort of sprays of flowers going on there mm. just get that last one i've stuck them on a bit too well i think Oh, that one's already come out, hasn't it? Yeah. So pop that to one side. There's one, two, three, four, five in there. And then we've got our flowers there to have a play with. So if I just pop those on a piece of the black card, you can see we've got a nice selection there of different types of flowers. And I don't know whether you can actually see this. I'll get our George to come and have a close up in a second. But there is actually, just with that one pass through the machine, if I hold this up, George, to come and just have a little look, particularly this middle one here, there's actually some embossed, where are we? Some embossed detail on there. I don't know whether it's, yeah, you can just oh, yeah, see it, yeah. in, particularly in that centre one. And that was without even using the embossing mat. That was just passing it straight through the machine there. But yeah, you can just see on the petals that there's some nice embossed detail on the little ones at the end here. It's got the deboss where the little centres of the flowers are. So there's a lot of detail in what is basically quite a small die. So you've got those ready to play with. And then what I've done is I've just picked out a few of my um, colours. I've picked out a couple of the green shades to yep. do some of the stems with and then I've just got a nice arrangement of bright colours to colour the flowers in. So two ways to do this. It may be that you want to take your pen and go direct to the card. So if I just take that little daisy for example, it may be that you just want to use your pen and literally take it straight to the actual card itself which is absolutely fine. Yeah. We so, don't see that happening very often, though, do we, with these pens? No, we tend to use them more as a, a, a sort of a paint, yeah. which I'm going to do that as well. But, you know, if that's where you want to go with them, that works just fine. Again, if we take one of those nice yellows, I've got uh, jasmine on that one, and we're just going to give it a nice little yellow centre there. And just make that as a daisy. And that might be all you want to do. That is yeah. absolutely fine. Looks perfect. Okay. But what I'm also going to do with these is we're going to use that sort of technique where we pop it on here, give it a little spritz. I'll just grab my water bottle and mop it up basically with the, uh, the card. And that's why it's best to use... Um, watercolour card yes. because it's going to soak up that card so for example if we go with um a little bit of the golden yellow first there okay so this one is sunflower so you, you're popping it on the on the um the glass mat now but if you put it direct to the card stock you could have gone in with water and drawn it away you also, could right? absolutely yeah we'll do that as well actually if okay. i could just i'll grab a paintbrush we'll have a look at that as well so this one i'm literally just going to spritz it yeah and all i've got in here is just water all right, and we're literally going to pop it in and just pick up some of that colour. Nice. 
So that's another way of using the pens. Yeah. All right. So literally as much as you want on there, let it dry and then reapply it. Can okay. I ask a question, which I know it, it does get asked, but I'll ask it again because I never remember the answer. Obviously, when you're using these, it's watercolour card. If you didn't have watercolour card and say you had like a, a multi-purpose card or say Nina, what would happen using that? You can get away with using the multi-purpose card. You yeah. want a decent uh, weight. Okay. The Nina's a wee bit thin and you would find that it would just end up buckling all the right. card. It's not made to take water. And card that's got a smooth surface as well, it's almost like a barrier. Mm. The uh, watercolour card's slightly textured, so it's got almost like little pits in it, a little bit like orange peel. Yeah. So that allows the water to be able to get into the fibres. You'll find with a smooth card stock that initially it will sit on top of the card it will soak in eventually but it's sort of making life a little bit harder for yourself mm. but the fact that we've actually put that watercolor yeah. card in there to with the with the kit gives you you know 15 sheets of it there you can see I've only used a little bit here exactly. uh, just to have a play with and, and see how you get on with it so again uh, what I haven't got is my heat tool which is a bit remiss of me I have got it in my bag. I might have to plug it in because obviously this is still slightly wet. But what I want to do is start looking at adding a bit more colour. So where it's dried at the top there, I'm just going to touch sort of little bits of it here with the orange as well. So I just want to add little bits here and there, not all of it, just to sort of bring in a little bit of mixture. And you can see there, we've got that lovely That's sort really of two-tone colour. Yeah. Really simply, I'm just going to grab my heat tool out of my bag and just give that a blast because it will work better once it's dried oh, off. So Producer Jamie, you're going to love this. <laughs> oh, so Jamie's not seen this yet, are you? Are you ready, Jamie? Jamie? Okay. Tool. Listen, turn it's, it on. It's again. on. It's on. We're doing the work. <laughs> Can you, that is this is Johnny's favourite bit of equipment, isn't it? He gets yeah. quite sad when I don't bring it. The silent yeah, heat tool. Job done. Okay. <laughs> so then that allows you to start layering up. So you can pop back in again. And if you want to pop a bit more depth of colour in, you can go in again with it. So that was route number two. Yeah. And again, you know, there's lots of different flowers there. So if you want to add some more, uh, maybe do a batch of them rather than doing what I'm going to do and just wasting the ink. Okay. And then the one that Ben was talking about, if I can just find a nice little thin... Yep, got a little thin paintbrush there. We'll do one that's got the um, the technique Ben was talking about. So again, if I go with sort of more of the purpley colours here, you can go straight onto your card. So for example, if I just add a little bit of colour round the centre here, let me pop it on here because I think it shows up better on that black, doesn't mm. it, for you to see? Okay, just a little bit in the centre. I'm going yep. direct with the pen to the centre of the card there. And then I'm just going to spray a bit of water on my mat here so that I've got access to some of the water. Okay. And then literally take my paintbrush now. And it doesn't want to be majorly wet, just damp. And then you can actually agitate that colour and start and move it away. Yeah, here we go. And blend. So you get the different hues. All right, so just... It sort of starts bringing different sort of layers to what yeah. you're, uh, you're doing. Okay, and then if I use the purple at the other end, which is a wee bit darker, and you'll get a different effect if you wet your card first. So if I take that out a little bit further with the water and then start adding the colour, it will wick out into the water. Oh. So you'll sort of get the movement work differently than it does if you go onto dry card. So this will actually start and wick out into wick where that water is now. So as I say, different ways of working with it, depending on what sort of look you're after. Mm. So again, if we bring some of the darker purple round the edge, and again, all I'm doing is just really lightly touching the nib onto the edge there. I'm not, not putting much pressure on at all adding that layer of colour and then as I say just a damp brush and actually just dragging it into where that water sat waiting to receive it. So lots of different ways they really are nice to have a play with these depending on how you want to use them. Yeah. 
So again, add plenty of water on to the die cut itself. And this is why it's better, and you'll get the better results with the watercolour card. Because yeah. you can see we're applying water there. And if it was a, a smooth card, that water would just want to sit on the surface and it wouldn't know what to do. Yeah. Whereas here, it's soaking straight in and it's allowing you to move that ink around there. And I think it's you as well, Jen, isn't it? This is like a big advocate of um, our watercolour markers because uh, I'm sure it's you that says it's like more forgiving. It's a good place to start if you're colouring, isn't it? It is. And I think water colouring in general is more abstract. Yeah. The alcohol colouring is quite specific, you know, and especially if you want to take it to that blending level. Whereas water colour can be quite sort of abstract. It doesn't have to be neat. No. You can go out of the lines. It's not as um, as strict, really, as the, uh, the alcohol markers. Yeah. So, again, I just want to pop a little bit more... Is By it? using it from the mat, yeah. you don't use anywhere near as much of your ink. And that's so a the great visual that you've got there of the different ways that you can use these pens. Yeah, yep. three completely so you can see ways. we've gone direct on that yep. one. We've got quite a vibrancy of colour on this one because we went direct to the cardstock. Slightly watered down on this one. And then obviously putting the water on first and then agitating that. Uh, we've got a proper watercolour effect going on. So if I bring one of the greens back in again, we'll go with... Um, that one I like the moss green so again just pop a little bit of that one on there as well and again a little bit of this and you can just literally use it as a paint so you can just take mm. it from the mat with your brush and if you prefer to do it with the paintbrush like that and what looks really really nice actually with these which is one of my favourite things to do with them and I'll do this on one of the other flowers for you so you can see there. If you want to add shading, you can go with a slightly darker colour. But what you can do, instead of using the paintbrush, if you've got our crystal clear overlay sparkle pens... Got them on the show, I think. Yep, you can use those as your brush. So instead of using the paintbrush, I'm going to swap it out. Now, it doesn't damage your uh, sparkle pen at all. So let me just get rid of those colours and we'll add a different colour into the mix. What haven't we used? Let's have a little look. We'll go with um, a bit of pink. We've got some pink in there as well. Whilst you're uh, popping that down for holiday, says, I'd love using these in just black or white over a gorgeous abstract paper or a watercolour background. That, again, that's another great way to use them. Uh, Susan says, I love the technique. Uh, Dennis says, I love how Jan crafts. These look amazing. And thank you, Betty, on YouTube. He says, Ben, you would be a sunflower for your sunny personality. Oh, think that seems to be a general consensus there, Ben. You are. He's always happy. Yeah, always. Um, and Nick Connie on YouTube says, I would be a Venus flytrap. <laughs> Just look and don't touch. I like that one. That's brilliant. <laughs> That's great. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So again, just by using your pen, your sparkle pen, I'll bring this up to the camera in a second. Again, it's, it's pulled a little bit of colour onto here, mm. but just a couple of swipes onto my tissue and it's all gone. So it doesn't damage your sparkle pen whatsoever. Uh, we need a little bit of, we'll go with that lovely lime green on this one for the, uh, the stem. And again, all I've done is literally pick up the colour with my sparkle pen and use that as your paintbrush. So you've got another way there of using them as well. But what this does is it makes your colour, your paint, whatever you want to call it, sparkly. Yeah. Which I think we all love. Uh, so if you want to add that little bit of sparkle, just think of your crystal overlay as a water brush, which is basically all it is. And then it's just got glitter suspended in that water. Yeah. So again, I've now got green on the edge of there. So again, I'm just going to use the tissue, give it a couple of little swipes across there until it runs clear. And you can see it's all come up perfectly clean again. So that works a treat and is a really nice one. If we can get close up... I don't know whether we can actually pick up the um, the glitter. Let me just hold these so that I can bend the card a little bit. Yeah, just picking it up there on the camera. So just that little, it's just a nice hint 
of sparkle in there, which is a different way, again, of, of adding that. So again, lots of different ways mm -hmm. of using. And you can see how little I've used out of these. They're going to last you a long time. And normally at home, I wouldn't mop all that up. I would normally keep going or even just mop it onto a background. Uh, if you've got any leftover ink, use a spare bit of watercolour card, spritz your card. Uh, I don't think I've got, oh, I have got a spare bit there. So what I mean by that is if you just, if, say, let's say you've got some leftover, uh, some of the pink, well, the pink will go with a little bit darker. So you've got a bit left when you've finished. Spritz your card, spritz what's left, yeah. and literally just mop it up. And you'll get those lovely inky backgrounds. All right. And then just leave it to dry naturally or let it dry with uh, with your heat tool. And these are the ones. I love when you pick it up off the glass mat, how you get that veining in it as well. It's almost the suction between the cardstock and the mat and you mm. get that lovely veining in it. But yeah, don't waste it. Just mop it up and use those as backgrounds to work on, on another project or even the background to what you're going to do with your flowers. Okay. So let's have a look at popping this together then. I have done some inking work which looks really, really pretty. And I've got some mats and layers to pop the flowers onto. So let's move that out of the way. So what I did, I started off with my black layer and I've cut out of that. I've just used some of our nesting dies. This is actually the fancy stitched uh, oh, rectangle. Yes. So I've cut out of the center the black and then I did the same with a piece of craft card cut the next size down in craft card. These are going to be my mats and layers. And then I actually did some inking with the water reactive inks. So there's a little bit of fuchsia on there. There's a little bit of um, straw bale. And then I've splattered the parakeet over it just to give you that sort of splattered look on there. Yeah, and then really die clever. cut again the next layer down out of the center and just edged it with some blue ink on there. Lovely. So this is now going to cover the gap and you'd be none the wiser. So it's a way of sort of, again, utilizing your cardstock and not wasting too much of it. So all we're gonna do is go back to that double-sided tape pen, pop some adhesive on the back of our layers, and then pop that one onto the top of the black one. So make sure my card's opening okay. okay. Just got that layering going on with a bit of a black border and then the craft card, and then that lovely pink. And then again, we're gonna pop this one on the top. And this is gonna be sort of the base for our little bouquet of flowers that we're gonna make. So that one's gonna go on there. And then I'm gonna pop this one on the back. And because I've got a little bit of a, a well in the middle where I've done that die cutting, I'm just gonna pop some of my wet glue in the center of there, just to sort of make up the gap. And that will adhere to the back of the one that we're gonna stick with the tape pen. Okay. Okay, so that one's just gonna fit on like that. The glue will get grab the back of that one, and then the tape pen will stick all around. So that's gonna be the base of my card. And then we've got the ones that I've just had a play with, and then I did some more at home. So I've got some more of the little daisies there. You can see those. Let's pop these all together. Okay. okay. I've done, um, this one was a little bit darker that I did at home, but you can see there we've got a similar kind of thing going on. Uh -huh. And then we've got a bit more, I sort of did a little bit more, well, I took it a bit further with these ones. Ooh, you can wow. see where we started. Yeah, yeah. And then just took it a bit further with mm. the colors. <clears throat> and then I've got uh, this one that we did in the pink. I actually did a little bit paler. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use our 3D Kalal glue for this one because I want a little bit of dimension with the flowers. So if you've got yours in your, I can never say the word, syringe. syringe. Is it a syringe? Syringe, yep. I always call it a syringe. Syringe. A syringe. Syringe. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna pop these on just so that there's a little bit of um, dimension. Okay. So I want one of these ones towards the back there. Nick Connie just said, these flowers are so cheerful and they're cut in such a way that they're not bulky. Um, not at all. Shape sentiment over it. It's yep. a really good way of describing them, actually. Um, a few more messages coming through. Gilmore says, Jan makes this look so easy, but I would still have my tongue sticking out trying to concentrate. I often notice that, Gilmore, whenever you were doing the, um, the craft alongs, and sometimes I can see you at the bottom of my screen when you're crafting along in your craft room, you like that, aren't you? 
I think we all do it to a certain oh. extent. I've had to train myself not to do it on TV because yeah. it does. It's not a good look, is it? But, not a great, uh, not a but great. yeah, we all do it. We're concentrating really hard. I got that tongue out. Um, and Gilmore also saying thank you. Ben would be the flower among the cacti because he would want everyone to be less prickly. Yes, oh, I certainly would. There you go. Yep. Yes. 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 Um, just very quickly as well. Just we, uh, stay with Jan. I'll, ju I'll just flash up some quick updates for you in my little box here. Little box. Um, of the Dawn Bibby goodies. So the botanical uh, lamp <coughs> frame in the square, five chances left to buy. Uh, yes, five, no, yes. What? Five chances yes, left to buy. Sorry, I've made a wrong note, Dan. Five chances left to buy. The uh, pearl card in the green and blue, six chances left to buy, all right? And then the beautiful purple and pink, Seven chances left to buy. So um, you've got to be quick if you want to grab those. We've sold out of the gingham stencil. We've also sold out of the uh, vintage uh, toy card stock as well. That's gone. Um, and those three items that I've just shown you there are about to go. We've got people with them in their baskets. So if that's you, any of those in your baskets, they need to be checked out uh, because they are going to sell out. It's a busy right. old day today it's been. Biz, biz, busy. So I've literally just looked at how I want those to sit, popped a little bit of the dimensional glue behind the flowers. I'm not too worried about the stems because I'm going to anchor those with a, a bow. And then what I've done is I've just snipped one of them down a little bit to create a, an extra sort of piece to fill the gap in at this side. Yeah. So again, don't be afraid to snip into them, you know, just because they're made with all the stems and everything. Yeah. Make them work for your project. But I just wanted this to look as if there was an extra flower to, to just get that edge in place. And then we can just nudge them all into place. And then I've got a really nice bow and this is going to anchor. So I've got a bit of red line tape on there as well, but I'm going to pop some of the 3D glue gel in between those stems so that when the bow goes on it will anchor the stems as well um, and then this is as if they're a bouquet we're just going to pop the bow at the bottom as if they're all tied like a nice little stemmed bouquet and then I've stamped out a sentiment so flowers bloom all for you and again we'll pop seeing as we're on to the uh, the gel we'll pop a little bit of that on as well and then just pop that on the top and I think you know that you can create some really really pretty cards and you know just using bits of your stash you saw how little card it used to cut the flowers out if I stand you that one up there now really sort of happy designs I think that would cheer anybody up wouldn't it Absolutely it would. Do you know what I love about that as well? I think it's one of the first times I've not seen this collection a lot but mainly when I do see it um, I can't remember who said about it, but um, using these as silhouettes, I've seen them used a lot cut in black and then popped yeah. onto a lovely background. Well, the other thing I think these are really nice for, and I always say, I think a lot of us agree that one of the hardest cards to make are sympathy cards. Yes. And I think these are perfect, you know, maybe just one of those pieces or a cut a couple of times in white on a white background, maybe with a gold border or something like that, just keep it nice and simple would be great for sympathy cards because mm. you don't want all that sort of, you know, if you're sending somebody a sympathy card, yeah, this is really pretty, yeah, but it's a but bit in your face yeah. to say that, you, you know, you're know, you sending condolences. So keeping it nice and simple, I just think they're a really nice little style to add to those sympathy cards. So yeah, really great one for that as well. Um, I will... Um I'll show you through the set and then I'll read a few more comments because there's some lovely comments coming through. So you're going to get all of the uh, dice. So three, uh, three die sets, five sets in each. So there's your, um, your scent of summer. And, and, and as you can see, they build up beautifully. I loved um, Nick Connie's uh, sort of description of these saying they're so cheerful, but they are cut in such a way that they're not going to kind of bulk out your cards too much. And they, they, they do, um, you know, uh, fit with a lovely sentiment over them very, very nicely indeed. They're like a ribbon embellishment as well. They work beautifully uh, together. So you've got those... Uh, uh, die set then like we were saying it's kind of like you've got a little try me bundle here because you've then got a set of our tricolor aqua pens as we said it's actually uh, three sets of three pens but within each of the three pens you get uh, three colors so it's like 27 different colors and you've seen the different ways that you can use these whether you just use them as a normal pen which we don't see very often here but it, you know you need to just keep in your mind that you can just use them as a normal pen should you wish uh, but you can also see that you can pop these onto um, your glass mat you can uh, spritz of course with them you can create your own little color 
palettes, you can take them into your cardstock uh, and add the water that way and draw them, add the water first and then add the colour. There's loads of different techniques that you can do um, with your uh, tricolour aquas. Just sorry to interrupt you, the one thing I didn't do was actually the colour mixing as well. Yeah. Because they're watercolour, yeah. you can, I know you touched on it earlier when you were showing the colours, you can mix your own colours, you know, so we all know that red and yellow make orange. Um, it might be a different shade of orange to what's already in your set. So you've got, although you've got 27 shades in there already, by literally playing with them and adding different colours together, you're going to get even more colours out of them. Because the watercolour, you can do that. You couldn't do that with an alcohol marker. No. Uh, it only works with a water-based product. So yeah, you've got that facility to make lots and lots of different colours. Yeah, exactly. All I would suggest with that is if you are mixing them and you find something you like, make a note of it, either in a little scrapbook or if you've got a, you know, a piece of card that you keep in a binder, just write down which colours you mix together and maybe you know either give it a number or a name so that next time you think, you know, heck, which, which ones did I use to make that? Yeah, I've done that many of times and I've spent ages trying to get the same shade or if you haven't made enough of that colour and you want to remake it, just sort of make yourself a little note that uh, you use two separate colours to make it. Yeah, um, a, a great way to explain it, and, and you know, like you said, you've got the different uh, shades of the colour because you can add your water in, of course, and then, like Dan said, you can mix and match all of the different colours as well. So, yes, it is nine pens, yes, it is 27 colours, but it's, it's as many colours and sort of shades of those colours uh, as you want to create. Um, so all of those are included, plus the dyes, as I mentioned, and you're also going to get uh, 15 sheets of that watercolour cardstock as well. So it is like a little, almost like a little explorer kit, really, uh, a little try-me kit with everything that you need. Uh, a few comments coming through lots of love for that last card uh, lovely card says Rennie Belter um, Wendy Jean love those flowers wow says Nick Connie an absolutely lovable card gorgeous design says for holidays design love the card says Linda Armstead uh, and Robbie Hedrick on Facebook says I'm a craftosaurus too I, I'm loving that yeah hashtag craftosaurus um, Jan said uh, sorry Gilmore says Jan is a lovely forget-me-not flower because we always remember her even when she's not here um, on the subject of sticking your tongue out when you're concentrating, Rhonda, this is brilliant. Rhonda Crowley on YouTube says, when my dad would cut something with a pair of scissors, his mouth would open and close with the cutting. I remember my mum used to, my mum was a seamstress in her younger years. She was a trained uh, dressmaker. And I can remember her doing that. She used to have the great big long sort of fabric shears and she'd be cutting along a pattern. She'd be... I remember her doing that. That's a fond memory of like many, many, many years ago. Yeah. You know what it used to remind me of, and I used to catch myself doing it all the time when um, when my kids were little, and you know when they first learned to sort of use their the, the, uh, their own like spoons and stuff, and you're yep. trying to get the spoon in their mouth, and I, they would be feeding you'd be doing themselves, it for and I'd be there going like, oh. <laughs> as they splat it into their eye for like the fourth time. Yeah, it's just really <laughs> funny. Um, and a quick one, um, Fred one seven one says. Um, uh, has Ben started his podcast yet? So um, I can't say too much about that. However, um, there is going to be a there is going to be a crafty podcast starting soon. Ooh. Basically mentioned it to the mentioned it to the bosses and thinking I'd be like, oh no, no chance. And they really like the idea. So there is something sort of I can't say too much official. Crafters TV coming, but it's not going to be for a Ooh, few exciting. months. Exciting. September. Yeah is the penciled in start date for that and i'll let you know more as i'm allowed to say more but yes there will be something coming penciled in for the start of september Excellent. Uh, where you'll get to find out more about behind the scenes stuff and you'll get to know more about our lovely crafters like Jack. you'll be appearing on one by the way just to let you you know I don't, right okay I don't know what your fees are we'll <laughs> advance get, notice we'll get our people to to your people and work out a, a fee See, oh sounds interesting um i'll tell you more after right <laughs> uh let's go back to uh, launch today because a lot of you may, potentially might have missed out on our brilliant launch which we had uh, a little bit earlier on and it's the launch of a set actually that um, lots of people have already bought for many many reasons well let me show you the finished samples first of all Th these are the things you're going to be creating from uh, this amazing 3d template collection um, Jan's done some fantastic demos already today and as always you can go back and watch shows you can go back and um, see wake up call from earlier on you can see the uh, the launch day shows um, a, a, as well and see all of the makes with Jan. Now, um, the great thing about these is that you're not having to uh, fork out a huge amount of money because you're getting three template sets and these are created with um, just templates. 
So you don't, I'll show you very quickly, you don't need um, any machines with these. You don't need to buy any extra dies with these. Simply, with the three templates that I'm showing you here, there's many templates within each of the packages, as you can see, you create these three items. Now, the great thing about these is that we've worked with the original creator directly uh, to make these licensed designs. So we're able to bring these to you, bring these to a wider audience, uh, and you are able to pick these up at a super, super price. And like I said, the reason why so many people have bought them is because A, they create the most beautiful projects, but B, you get the templates, Literally all you'll need with these is uh, a pen or a pencil to trace out the, um, the shape. You'll need a cutting implement, so uh, you know, your scissors, craft knife as well might be quite handy. Uh, you'll obviously need some papers uh, and some cardstock. Um, and then some adhesive, and then you're away really. You know, if you've got some of your uh, red liner tape potentially, then uh, you know, you, you're great, you're good to go. But if you prefer using things like your, um, your glue guns, you can do that as well. But the point is, uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money to be able to create these. And a lot of you who were um, looking at these earlier on were already saying the kind of things uh, that you'd be creating these for. I mean, the little um, butterfly box card that you've got here, absolutely gorgeous for all sorts of occasions, really. And the fact that you can open the box up to pop a little gift inside of there, potentially. Uh, you know, that is um, really, really lovely. You can open that one up and pop a little sentiment inside of there, should you wish to as well. But think about all the papers and the cardstock that you've got to be able to create uh, a beautiful box like this for all occasions, for all year round. This uh, tulip here garnered a lot of attention earlier on. Once again, all of the templates for all of the different pieces that you can see here. So you get a separate template to create a little box on the bottom. So the box on the bottom, you can pop in maybe, I don't know, a little bit jewelry maybe some sweets or some chocolates for the kids um, and again the great thing about this is it's nice and simple to do uh, choose the cardstock that you want to work with uh, and then pop this together you know it's one of those projects really which is going to be quite mindful it's not something that you're going to just do you know in five or ten minutes it's a nice you know uh, hour-long project do it in the, you know over the course of the afternoon it's entirely up to you but you've got plenty uh, of uh, time to be crafting with this and creating these as maybe little home decor pieces maybe there's a party coming up or a wedding or something like that these would be absolutely perfect for that and then so many of you uh, have said how much you've loved the bow and once again it looks so extravagant doesn't it I mean this we've just popped onto a um, on, onto the card front for you but you know if you just wanted to use the bow uh, as a decoration for a lot of you talking about the Christmas trees you might make these in sort of Christmassy papers and pop them on the tree uh, later on in the year however you do it however you use these um, it's a really really simple process to go through you don't need to be next level crafter and you certainly don't need to have a craft room full of tools to be able to get using these. Price today is phenomenal. So it's a 20% saving straight off the bat. Launched them officially two o'clock this afternoon. Uh, they are flying out the door at under 20 pounds, under 25 dollars. And Gilmore, yes, you can wear the bow like Ben modeled earlier, just for you, Gilmore. Uh, you can wear it as a bow tie or on top of your head, always here to please. Um, Pammy says, uh, oh, we, with the uh, mouth open thing, me too, Ben. It's like when you're feeding the babies. My husband used to pick on me as I would always open my mouth when trying to get them to eat. We've all been there. Uh, Fred171 says, thanks, Ben. Read the podcast. Something to look forward to. It is. Uh, and Janine says, thank you for showing us how to use the templates. Uh, this is what I won on the HSM preview show. I remember. If you haven't yet seen how to use the templates, as I said, you can go back or alternatively uh, you can cast your eyes across the studio right now uh, because um, Jan is about to show you once again now if I was a uh, <coughs> if I was a betting man I would say that she was going to use the bow but having just seen in my monitor over there uh, she's not going to she's going to use the um the, the, the flower but the bow's your favorite isn't it i do like the bow I, well i like them all actually i love the idea the concept and i love that they're a template as opposed to a die because they're so much more affordable and it opens up that crafting ability maybe if you're a new crafter that hasn't invested in a, a die cutting machine yet this allows you to have a go at making something with quite a wow factor but without that die cutting machine yeah now i had got one of the bows left but i have demoed the bow twice once on wake up call 
all. If you if you weren't watching earlier and you want to re-watch that one, we did one example this morning. And then I also did the bow again on the launch show at 2 p.m., which will both be available uh, on YouTube to re-watch. So I thought we'd have a go at the tulip one again, because okay. I've got that one and the bow left. So I thought, we'll have a go. I've only done the tulip one once. Uh, and I just want you to show you, you know, even though you've got all the little bits of template, you know, what to do with them. It is fairly straightforward. So all your packaging, first of all, on the back of the packaging, lays out the pieces that come within your kit. So that top section there, you've literally got pieces labelled from A all the way through to F. All right, so you've got all those in, and then you've got H, I, J, and I think it stops at J on this particular one. And on the top of your packaging here, there's a little bit at the top, that, which is a, a dub 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 address, which if you type this into your search yes. engine, it will take you straight to another video of how to pop these together. So there's a, a nice little video with our magic hands uh, showing you how to pop them together as well. It's just sort of, there's no discussing it and no explaining it. It's just a walkthrough of how to fit them together but in your packaging you also get literally step by step couldn't be easier showing you which template to use draw around it and how to pop it together and it goes through it in a, a nice sort of manner that's a, a fairly logical way of doing it over onto the back until you've got a finished project and then embellishing it is entirely up to you what you add to it as far as embellishments are concerned whether you want to put some nice um, foam flowers on there whether you want to die cut some elements whether you just want to add a sentiment you don't have to add anything else to it you know it will just stand on its own as a, a 3d finished project so what i'm going to do then is just talk you through all the pieces i've got okay. quite a bit of it cut again ready because there is a little bit of time spent cutting out your template cutting out the uh, the pieces from the template so it's worth popping yourself aside a little bit of time maybe to draw around all your pieces and then go and sit down in your lounge and sit and have a cut out now I like to use my large scissors for this but there are three sizes in our range of scissors so you use the ones that you are comfortable with yeah and all it asks you to do first of all this one's the box template so inside the bottom of here I've just got one that's partly finished here inside the bottom is actually a little gift box here you can just see I've got some of the ribbon around this one but there's a little gift box in the bottom that allows you to pop some goodies in so the first thing that it asks you to do is to draw around template a and cut it out and you get the piece ready to make your box and then where all the lines are inside your grid here so where we've got the horizontal lines and the vertical lines, these are your score lines. So okay. if you just pop a pencil line through there and then use your scoreboard to add the score lines in. And then as always, wherever you've got a score line, you're going to fold and burnish. All right, so all the way around, we're just going to fold all these and burnish them. And then again, whether you want to use red line tape, whether you want to use your tape pen, I'll pop the tape pen on this one. We had red line on the last one, so you can see both so we've got four glue tabs and it, again in the instructions it shows you where to put the glue if you're not sure and you've not done anything like this before if you have a look on the template here it's actually showing you the glue pen and where to actually put your glue onto the tab so it literally walks you all the way through and then it's simply a case of bringing these together so fold your glue tab in uh -huh. and then line up those two edges and give it a little rub to seal it same at this side so this is going to create the front of your box you're just creating a nice 90 degree angle there and then the one in the middle is going to create the back of the box so again just give it a little press down tuck the, the glue tabs in and line up that edge all the way around there and then you've got these two pieces fold in to start the the closure and then the long piece at the front you know it's as simple as that yeah lovely little gift box in its own right if you just wanted to decorate this and pop something nice in there you know yeah. a piece of jewelry or anything piece of a few chocolates in there it's a nice little gift box it measures about three inches by two by did i say two two, two and a bit two and a bit, Might yeah. be two and a bit i think yeah two and a half and then two inches deep all right so it's a nice little gift box as it is but this is going to be the base of our tulip box so i'm going to pop that to one side and then my other little bag of bits has got all the other pieces of template in now the bit that i really liked when i opened all this up 
was it asks you to cut, because we're working with four sides of a box, it asks you to cut a lot of the items four times. So I expected to find, you know, one piece of C, one piece of D, etc. But no, they give you four of each of the pieces yeah. so that you can lay these out depending on what size card you're using, whether it's a piece of 12 by 12, whether it's an A4, you can literally lay them out and make sure that they're going to fit, get optimum use out of your card, you know, look at where they're going to be positioned best to save more of your card stock. So that was something I thought was really nice. They didn't have to do that. They could have just put one each and said, right, draw around it four times. So this one's the base of the flower and this is going to effectively create the sides of the box there so the four times means that we're going to adhere this later onto the four sides of the box so I've actually got a lot of this prepared ready let me just grab the other bits and pieces out then piece B all right it asks you to cut four times again there are four pieces of it and this one's actually going to fit behind here and create that illusion that there is more to the flower yeah. so you've got the front part of it and then the bits inside and then you've got more pieces in here that allow you to mat and layer so we've got piece d and e okay let me just grab one of that one and then we want a h an I and a G. So again, there are four of each of these for you to lay out. But basically, you can see with your flat layer here that we've got a petal that's going to sit on top at this side and a petal at this side. So if I bring out some of the ones that I've done already, you can see that we end up with a piece like this. So I've got my two pieces on already. Okay. And then the backing piece, which is piece B, we're actually going to... And this it's all explained in the instructions. It goes through exactly what you need to cut, how you can see this piece here. We've got this one, and yep. it asks you to do it four, four times. times yep. Then we go on to piece B, and it shows you how to place these three pieces, and it asks you to do it four times. So all we're going to do is pop G in the centre here. Then it asks you to pop H over this side and I over that side. Now you've choices as to whether you want to use pattern paper. In the first demo that I did earlier, I added a layer of pattern paper to mine. On this one, I've put pattern paper on the front and then I've just inked these little pieces that I've added to the back. And it's all done on the white all-purpose card. Yeah. So once you've got that piece together, it asks you to stick it behind this one, lining up the base here, so that you've got the effect there of that little tulip flower and that's just one flower and then on each of those instructions it says to repeat that till you've got four okay. because you need one for each side of the box all right so nice straightforward so far and then we need some pieces um, that are the hinges so let me just I've got all these little bits in bags so that I didn't lose them so we pop that one out for later. Yeah, because you even get the little template for the hinge, don't you? Pardon? You even get the little template Absolutely. for the hinge, don't you? It's all yep. there. Sorry, I didn't hear what you'd said then. I... Pardon? A long way across the street. <laughs> it was a bit rude then, wasn't it? Pardon? 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 Okay, so how many have I got these ready? Let me just double check. I think I've got all four of them ready. Yep. So we've got all four of those. Yep. All right. And then the little piece that is J. All right, it asks you to, again to cut this four times, and there are four of them, mm -hmm. you know, so you can lay them out. If you're worried about them moving when you draw around them, that dotty tape pen comes in handy again. Because you can rub the dots away, pop a little tiny bit on the back of your templates, and then you can really just stick them down and make sure that everything's going to fit and get the most out of your cardstock. But it asks you to cut four of these, so we've got the four here, and then the centre again has got... If I pop that on top of the box there, you can see it's got that line in the middle. Yeah. So again, pop your pencil line in the middle, and that gives you a guide as to where to score it. It's essentially scored in half, all right? And then we've literally squished them in half, give them a burnish, and these are going to become like a little hinge. So what I'm going to do then with my double-sided tape pen again is pop glue on one half to start off with. So plenty of glue on there and then take your flower petal, turn it over and then you want the folded section here 
the actual tent fold in here to the outside edge and then I'm going to look at that section B that we placed on and just eyeball about the centre of that panel and make sure that that hinge is flush with the edge of your petal and give that a rub into place and you can see now that we're creating a mechanism that will allow us to stick it onto the side of the box yes so again it asks you to repeat it four times so we're going to do the same again so glue we'll put all the glue on first robbie's just said because of jan i'm going to have to get this 3d template collection she makes it look so easy <laughs> oh bless they are honestly they are really nice to work with it's something different i've not seen anything like this before and i was really pleased when i got the launch for this because i thought yeah i'm gonna have a play with them and i've got lots of ideas with them honestly there's so many different things that i was thinking about yeah. and the one that i was kicking myself was is that i didn't oh, think until about afterwards jubilee. about doing the bow in the jubilee colors would look fantastic mm. wouldn't it i'm now wearing one of the hinges because i've just <laughs> lent on it that was the uh, the downside of putting all the glue on first so all you need to remember is that the little fold all right in the middle wants to go to the outside edge so that we're creating that means of having that hinge like so yeah. and I'm going to do that the four times so we've got that last one to go on here okay so again I'm just sort of looking for the middle of that panel it's one of those sets isn't it Gemma I think that the, the first time you do it you'll be very concentrating on the <coughs> instructions mm. that's not even a sentence but you'll be concentrating a lot but the more times you do it you probably eventually will just I think even it. when you've done it once so yeah. when you realize how it fits together where the pieces go because you get look at them originally and say, oh my I thought because there's a lot of pieces there but this is so straightforward it really is if you follow this and work through it one step at a time it's pretty much in the order that I've done things if not you can always play us back get to a certain level pause it do your bit repeat the next bit yeah. and you know it's there we, we're there for you to work with so I've got those ready now what we need to do is attach them to the box so the remaining part of the tab that's now sort of stuck out at the bottom you want some glue on that one as well so we'll do all four of them now whether you use your tape runner I use double uh, no I use red line tape in the earlier show you can use a wet glue if you wish the only thing I would say with a wet glue is that you've got to wait for it to dry so the fact that you've got sort of moving elements in there you need to wait for it to dry with a wet glue so I think probably the tape runners or the red line tape would be more advantage with something like this so what we're going to do now then I've got my front opening just here so we're going to start on the front and I've got my petal laid outwards and I'm going to pop that hinge I'm going to eyeball roughly the center between the two edges and I'm going to line up the fold on the, the hinge with the outside edge here yeah so literally we're going to stick that on and you want it to be flush with the edge of your box here all right not overhanging not inside it wants to just run flush with the outside of your box and then take it to the opposite side and repeat so again eyeball roughly the center make sure it's nice and flush on that edge and give it a rub into place and then we've got the two to do on the other panel just the same and as i say as if by magic they're just the right size is if it's all been planned for them to fit in the gap yeah just make sure that edge is nice and flush on there and then again on this side exactly the same so you're doing one instruction and then you're actually repeating it for the other sides okay so again that one's going to go on this edge and again it just fits nicely in the gap there whoops my hand wasn't big enough then to get all the way around okay making sure that it's on that edge nicely and then i'm going to open it and i just want to sort of give those all a burnish into place to make sure that that glue is nice and set in place perfect okay so you can see now we've got the beginnings of the top of the box so when these all bring come up together yeah. you can see that we've got the beginnings of that box now if you want to pop a piece on here to cover this up you can just cut another piece of cardstock just measure the top and pop a piece in alternatively once this has actually popped together you can stuff it with some tissue you could even pop another little gift in the top somebody suggested earlier about one of the little tea lights, tea lights yeah. one of the little battery operated tea lights in there would look nice or if you've got those little lights on the wires uh, they would look nice so in order to make this into the box mm. now and again I used the red line tape for this earlier but I'm mm. just 
going to use the uh, the tape runner. And just to ask as well, Carolyn's just asked, does the box template fit on an eight and a half by eleven inch paper? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it will. Uh, it is actually, if I measure that for you, the template itself from one side to the other is ten and a half yep. in length by seven and three quarters. Perfect. So it will fit inside either A4 yep. or the A4 letter, uh, the American A4 letter size. Yep. yep. I know it's slightly different measurement if you're using American cardstock. So what I want to do now is I want to join just these little tips here of the petals together. So all I'm going to do is pop a little tiny bit of glue and I'm going to pop it on each side. Glue to glue you'll get a nice decent uh, stick. Now if you want to do this before you put it on you can but I just got myself into difficulty when they were sticky and I was trying to stick these bits on. Oh, yeah. So I do prefer to actually do this bit so all I'm doing is just running the tape runner across each of those edges, just on that outside edge of the petal. What did you use last time, red liner tape? I used the red line tape last time, yep. Yeah. So whichever, like I said earlier, try the different glues and see what works best for you. There's no right or wrong. And then all we're going to do is bring that together, pop the edges of the petals together and just pinch them together. And you want that to stick. Now I use some little uh, clips at home just to pop it on and I'd, I'd got to a point where it was late and I left them overnight just to make sure that that had, had a really nice good stick together. All right, so the same at this side, we're just gonna grab those outside pieces in the corners there, line them up and just pinch. It's about half an inch at the most, if that, just on the edges there and follow it all the way around. All right, so that one again on here. And it explains again, it explains all this on the instructions for you. And then the same at this side. So you get the idea now that that's actually created yes. the actual box itself, okay? So just make sure, as I say, if you need to put a little clip on them, just to make sure that that's got a nice stick on it. But you can see now that they're not flopping all over the place. And then again, the last piece of the stencil is, uh, is, is the piece F here. And again, on your instructions, we've done the sticking together. It asks you to cut four of the F and make them into leaf shapes. So we've got these here. I've done four of those in a little slightly lighter weight cardstock. So this is actually from our textured card pads, which is a wee bit lighter. I used the matte black card for the box, which is the um, 300 GSM. I used the all-purpose card for the base of the tulip, which is 300 GSM. And then I've got some paper from the uh, Country Lane pad on the front there. This is from the textured card pads. And what we're going to do with this one is use your bone folder or whatever it is that you've got handy. And you're actually going to pop... Um, a bit of a curl just in the top of them like so all right so each one like so and it's just curling those petals out and I've left about just over an inch maybe an inch and a quarter at the bottom that's flat because yep. that bit's going to wrap around our uh, box itself so about an inch and a quarter and then run that to get that lovely shape as if your petals are actually coming out the edge and then again it asks you to put tape on them now you can put tape onto here so again that inch and a quarter or so that we left I'm literally going to fill with some of the double-sided tape and then it says to mold them around the corners so all I've done is look about halfway here and pop that on one side okay and then literally just tease it around the corner and what will happen is is that you can stick that one down and it'll bring the leaf back out as if it's on the base of the flower there okay mm -hmm. so again repeat four times so all the stages pretty much once you've done one of them you're going to repeat it again until you've done all four parts of your tulip your flower just to so. say whilst you're sticking i've just been notified that we've only got eight chances left for you to buy the uh, vintage toy stamp collection from the uh, dawn bibby creations race so if that's in your basket uh, next eight people to check that one out will get it it's that it's that teddy bear 
that's going to sell that uh, collection out. There are um, individuals, obviously, uh, of the other uh, stamps and dies available for you, but if you've got that stamp set uh, and you definitely want to get it, get your basket checked out because there's only eight more chances to buy that bundle. So all I'm doing is following that round and doing the same on each corner. So again, about halfway across the base of your leaf, pop that onto one side and then just sort of tease it around that corner and stick the other half on the other side of the box. And you're just coming up as high as the depth of the box yeah. and then these are naturally curling away from your project. So that last one can go inside there. So again, about halfway so once you've done one element of it, you're just repeating that another four times to fill the other parts in. Okay, and you've got those tulip leaves. I think they look realistic because the tulips do have yeah. that kind of leaf on it. Yeah. So that is literally taking you to the end of the construction. All I've added to that then is I've got a little piece of red um, ribbon. And what I'm going to do with that one is pop it all the way around the box just to add a bit of extra detail. So I just need to get that one off. Come on, that's it, we're off. So I'm just gonna start at the front there, about halfway up the box, and just take this around the edge over those pieces. It helps to secure the leaves. It also adds a nice bit of detail there. All right. And then line that one up at the front. And then I've got a nice little bow. If I might say, is my glue? No, my glue gun's not on now, so I'll pop a little bit of this on the front there. And then I've got a bow to just fit in the center there. And then you can pop as much decoration as you wish. If I bring this one that I'd started doing, I just added some little sequins onto the sides of the petals there. But however you want to decorate is entirely up to you. But you can just see now how you've got that little box ready to go. And inside there, you've got the opportunity to pop your little gift of your choice in. Really, really nice projects to do. And I think there's so many different colorways that every time you do this, it will look different. Yeah. And everybody's got preferences on colors. I think everybody knows that my go-to color's pink. Mm -hmm. So I have to try not to do that all the time and show you different ideas. But just imagine this done in sort of vintage colors as well. And who's to say that that's not suitable to give a guy a gift in. Oh yeah, you know, right. guys like flowers. We tend to think that it's a, a female it's thing, a but I've got quite a few fellas that I'd, I know would enjoy flowers. I would definitely enjoy uh, receiving that, especially if it yep. was filled with some chocolates. Oh, of course. Or some uh, Harry bows, you know, gummy sweets. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Thank you very much indeed. Um, we're going to get the vote of the uh, show going in just a second. Uh, just to recap on these again, though, um, your 3D template collection launched today. They've proved uber popular uh, just because literally they are for everybody. Um, you know, whether you are a seasoned crafter, whether you're someone who's got uh, a craft room full of goodies or maybe you've never crafted before, these are for you. Uh, as Jam was explaining, you know, you don't need a lot really to be uh, crafting with these. You don't need to be uh, sort of any level of crafter to get these sort of results. Everything's explained for you. Um, you've got the uh, video, of course, with this as well. So you've got a link on the back of the, um, um, of the, of the, of the product so you can uh, go to that link watch the video uh, so you get even more inspiration right there um, and of course uh, the great thing is you've got the three different um projects that you can make over and over and over again uh, and we work with the original creator directly so uh, the license for these designs um, you know brings them to you right here at crafters tv let's get the vote going for the demo of the show because uh, then we've got to do demo of the day Should, do you want me to show sharon's cards first I, or do you want to go first I don't mind. Oh, well, uh, well, I'll show you go first. I'll go first. You go first. I'll go first. You go first. Top of the show there. Well, the top of my section of the show, we started out with those lovely um, die cut sentiments there. Really pretty sentiments. And we made that wardrobe style card. So when you have a look at it from the top, it's got that lovely shaping. So that was number one. Yeah. All right. Number two was those lovely little die cut flowers that we added the watercolor to with the tricolor markers. 
So that was number two. Pretty. Number three was our little gift box with the tulip box. So uh -huh. that was a third one. And then I have got a fourth one, but obviously that's not going to go into the vote because I've not finished that one yet. So I've got number four, which was uh, Sharon's card that she made using uh, some of that gorgeous cardstock and the uh, wisteria uh, set from the botanical. So that's four. Uh, five is the uh, rocking horse with the um, the cube edger there as well, the, uh, the, the the stacking cubes, the toy cubes, that's five. And then number six is uh, her beautiful card with the um, bumblebees, I nearly called those butterflies, I can tell you how long of a day that is, they're definitely bumblebees. Uh, number six, one, two, three, four, five or six, let's give you about three or four minutes to get your votes in on that and then we'll get the demo of the day vote going as well because we are uh, heading into the home straight at 12 minutes left on the show um so uh jan um i believe you've got one more demo up your sleeve i'm gonna you try i don't know whether i will get it finished in the time that's left but i have got a fully a finished sample for you that i can show you okay so coming back to those silhouette stamps and stencils which i, I think i launched these actually and again really really if you love your inking techniques this one's a nice one to do so again inside here We've got a little kit which consists of our stamp set. So if I just show you here, and the idea being that they are silhouettes. So I've just brought out my black quick dry ink to actually stamp these out with. Yeah. So we've got the dolphin, we've got the tur or the porpoise, we've got the little turtle, mermaid in there, and then you've got three nice sentiments in there as well. And again, it comes with instructions. It gives you some ideas of how to build this up. All right, and then you've also got your stencils and masks in place. Now, the difference between a stencil and a mask is a stencil allows you to ink through it and create a design. A mask will cover up that area and allow you to work around it. Yeah. So what I mean by that here, if I show you these, we've actually got here an area that you can stencil through. And I'm actually going to talk you through a lot of this because I'm, I'm a bit worried about the time yeah. to get this one done so I've got a lot of it prepared so what I've done is I've done that lovely inky background again and we used um, the water reactive inks for the background so I've got orange there I've got fuchsia and I've got parakeet just applied those with my sponge applicators and then flick some water at it with them being water reactive ink they work beautifully where it pulls the ink back out and then just popped a little bit of the parakeet on my glass mat yep. added some water picked it up with a brush and i've just splattered as it to, to make it look as if you've got sort of that sea foam going on for the background so that's on watercolor card okay so as far as a stencil is concerned if i pop this one on top you can see then that we can stencil around the edge and push that ink through the actual open areas in the stencil and then the mask side of it, this is sort of basically what's been cut out of the, the gap. Yeah. This will cover up that black work then. So wherever I put the black ink from here, it will literally cover that so that you, if you wanted to do some more work inside here and maybe emphasize the edge and make it a bit darker, it's going to cover up the black so that you're not working all over that black again. And then also in there, we're gonna give you that gorgeous little bit of seaweed and the bubbles as well, just as a little stencil. So you can work on those. If I put them there, you can see those designs a wee bit better. Okay. All right, so what we've done with this one, as I say, rather than get all the inks out, I know I'm not gonna be able to get that finished. So I will talk you through, and I've got one that I've already prepared. So just to pop the card together, is just a simple uh, set of mats and layers. I've got an A5 top fold card, Again, we're just going to pop, and you can see where I've chopped middles out again. I don't like wasting cardstock, so wherever possible, chop the middle out and I'm use it. I'm coming over. You're coming over. What was number three? Number three was... The winner. Is it? Demo yep. of the show. Fantastic. I'll take that over, okay. and we'll do the demo of the day. Oh, we've got two tulips in there. Two tulips? Uh, also, it's all the 3D templates there then, so they really like those, that's great. So, yeah, just yep. really quickly on the vote then, so it's, it's a Jan win today, whichever <laughs> way, but is it number one from Wake Up Call with the bow? 
Oh, I know where my vote would be. You're not allowed to vote. Uh, is it number two, two, tulip, tulip? Or is it number three, tulip? One, two, or three. I think I know which one I would vote for. Just uh, what, what are you going for? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going for as well. Uh, but it's up to you. We can't vote. We don't have a say in this. Uh, you've got, let's give you all oh, till 5 2. So you've got about three and a half minutes uh, to get your vote in on that one, two, or three. Uh, and then we will uh, crown the winner. Back to you, Jan. Right, so I've used my stencil element on here and I've pushed some of the ink through there with the uh, sponge applicator and then I've also stamped out in the centre, once we've, once we've moved that, I've stamped out the mermaid, again using the black quick dry and if you use your stamping platform you can over stamp and again if you're not sure about this have a look back at the wake up call where I did the one with the fairy, it's exactly the same techniques, it's just different style of stencil and stamps build up that black on there so that she's nicely silhouetted and you're going to finish up with a piece that looks like this so I've used blue around the edge I've stamped her in black and then I've just used one of my silver um, art liner pens to just do a little bit of outline just so that it sort of stands out and gives the, the effect that there's a little bit of light coming through yeah so literally we're going to pop this one on the top all right. And my apologies for not doing this in total. I had planned to do this as a full demo for yeah, you. Yeah, time's just got away with it. But show, time's it? got away. Just with adjusting this, the shows, it's literally got me uh, running out of time there. So I'm just going to use that one that I'd already prepped there. And then again, in here, you've got, with love, you've got believe in yourself and just the word believe in there. So I've just stamped out the believe in yourself pop that onto some black card and we're literally just going to mat and layer that onto you could put it on in fact we'll pop it on a couple of foam pads yeah just to raise that up a little bit okay and this one's going to go and because i've inked on there i like to just put a little bit of wet glue on the back of the foam pads when it's going onto an inked surface yeah so a little bit of that wet glue and we'll just pop that in the Fabulous. corner there and what would look really nice actually on there i've just got left over from that previous demo there uh, some sequins and i just think that would look like the um the bubble seeing as i've just got a couple of minutes let me pinch a few of those and just in sort of areas on here just every now and again with it being an underwater theme it'll just add that little bit of uh, extra sparkle on there so all I'm going to do is pop these onto the top there as if they're sort of shining oops use the tweezers because they're sticking to my finger there we go and again it's just adding that little extra element to it there could be gems those little clear bubbles would look nice yes uh, as if they were actually bu bu ocean bubbles in there the little clear red gems that you can get um, so just to pop those on as I say we'll leave those to one side and again if I turn you that one round as I say apologies for not actually doing the stamping part of it and the masking but you get the idea of how that works and that's why I didn't put that one into the uh, the vote because it was cheating a little bit <laughs> it was cheating I'd already done the panel at home but uh, yeah if we'd had a bit more time I'd have shown you how to eat but as I say on wake up call I did the one with the fairy on so that shows you how that concept works and it's the same concept just different styles on the, the different ones um, you've got the full collection right here. So you're saving uh, £27.28, $31.40. Platinum price is £40.53 uh, 40 or $46.44. And I'll just show you all of the, uh, the different sets that you're going to get. Oh, and then we'll do the result of the demo of the day. I've got it. I know the result. What is it? I'll tell you in a second. Um, so you've got your beautiful moments and they, these all work exactly the same so you can create your own scenes with the um, with the stencils you've got the masks of course there as well uh, and then this one's so super cute because you've got the little girl on the swing there uh, you've got the little cat and the dog so you can build up these scenes again for all sorts of different occasions and depending on what colors you use um, you've got you know backgrounds um, Again, with, with all of the different colours that you've got uh, within your uh, inks. Uh, magic is in your heart. So this one again is that uh, beautiful fairy. 
Uh, you can have the fairy flying through. You can have the fairy on top of the toadstool. You can, um, you know, pop the different sentiments on as well. And some of these will mix and match around for you too. You don't necessarily need to keep them in their, uh, their own scenes. You can mix and match them, move them around. This one's called You Are The One with the uh, couple there under the umbrella walking hand in hand. Once again, you know, if you want to change this to, um, you know, sunset, sunrise, however you want to do it, you can really create some gorgeous backgrounds using those uh, stencils. And then you've got uh, your moon there, you've got your clouds there as well, should you wish. And once again, uh, lots of different sentiments in there too. This is the one that you've just seen, believe in yourself. So, you know, if you want to add the little um, seaweed in there, the kelp, if you want to add the bubbles in, you can do, and you can change the focus of your project as well with all of the different characters that you're going to receive in stamp form if you love your more sort of fantasy projects i think that, you know the, the kids i think would like working with this one too you've got your unicorn uh, follow your dreams uh, and then lastly in the set is that beautiful African savannah, uh, which is called Strength and Love. It's a lovely set um, and a lovely, lovely price today. £40 and change, $46.64. We've done it. We are almost there at the end of another mammoth day here at Crafters TV. Uh, what was, though, the demo of the day? I hear you cry. Oh, he's teasing us. No, I thought number yeah, one. I thought that one would that would have been my choice. I think the papers on that one as well are really pretty. That's the Enchanted Dreams paper pad there. Yeah, really pretty. Um, Jan, thank you so much. Thank you. Do we know when you're back? Um, I've got a couple of weeks. Well, I've got a yeah, a couple of weeks break <laughs> again now. I've got a week where uh, I'm not needed here at CTV, and then I've got a week's holiday at the beginning of next month. So it's going to be sort of mid June, I think, before I'm back. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a, a TV date on Friday down at the TV studios, uh, and then as I say, a little bit of time off over the bank holiday and a week's leave that week after. Well, so yeah, a bit of a rest and then I shall be back in full flow again. I've got lots of shows planned for June and July, some new launches in there again. I think there's a craft along somewhere in there with the dancing dragonflies, which I can't wait. I don't know whether it's with you. I haven't got that far, Ben, but if it is, you will definitely be crafting along. Yes. Seeing as I'm a bit of a craft along export expert now, thanks to the Craftosaurus over there. <laughs> I love that one. Um, a massive thank you to Jan, um, as always, absolutely brilliant. Um, and thank you to all of the team as well. You've been absolutely super today. Um, Superstar Susie on the socials. Uh, Radical Rachel's been with us today as well. Uh, I want to say Grace was with us earlier, but that seems like yesterday. I'm sure, well, if she was, thank you. She was awesome. Um, also, a massive thank you to all the team, to uh, producer Erin, to Nicola, to George, to Jamie to Willow, to Tracy, uh, everybody uh, has been awesome today uh, and we will be, I mean Willow's been a little bit lazy actually, hasn't she? <laughs> Willow the dog, she's been in her bed most of the day. Oh bless uh, her, she's been so good hasn't she? Yeah, she, she has been good, she has been good. Uh, tomorrow, lots coming up, we've got Gwen from Creative Expression, she's going to be here, uh, Debbie Fisher's back from her holidays as well, I'll be with her on Wake Up Call uh, where we're going to be previewing, it's kind of like a second chance saloon of a US uh, warehouse clearance show, loads of great deals to be had. Uh, and then that show in the evening with Craig and Debbie. So it's me, Craig, Debbie, uh, and also Gwen tomorrow. Uh, we've got a launch with the decoupage flowers as well. It's going to be a big, big day. Make sure you join us tomorrow. Um, a massive thank you to all of you for uh, tuning in today. Uh, and we will see you again, same time, same place, tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>